today, I am going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. This is my very first time ever playing it. I don't know what happens. Like, I've... I know of its existence, but I've never, like, looked into it. I got the plus one because I felt like I could support the developers. And, I mean, it was on sale, so I bought it. You guys, I opened the game. And to get to this screen, you guys, deadass, deadass, I had to go through, like, 10 different content trigger warnings. It was like, this is not suitable for children. Like, please, like, do you want to see all the content triggers? Like, or do you want it to, like, show up as they happen? And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, what is what is about to happen? Like, how bad can a visual novel be? Like, I just, I can't imagine a visual novel being that messed up. Also, what made me laugh was when you open the game, it says all characters are over the age of 18. And that made me laugh. That made me laugh so hard because I was like, <laughs> Why did they preface the game like that? <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know these girls' names. So I'm gonna go purely off of like what I'm looking at right now. Um, I like her design and I like her design the best, which is, you know, I like long hair. Okay, let's start. Enter your name, Mina. Okay. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never really see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but, started, uh, around, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Damn. Damn. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again. MC's kind of a jerk. I can see that. But I caught you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Okay, wait, why am I being a dick? Eh? You say that... <laughs> You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Mina. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, and I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. Oh my, oh my, a couple, a couple. Why would you just like automatically just go to us being a couple? I mean, like, okay. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Girl, Sayori, please don't, don't. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, girlie. You're, 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 you're grasping at straws. You're grasping at straws. Don't, don't, don't just think that they're being nice because they waited. That's girl. No, <laughs> no, have standards. The bar is on the floor, you guys. <laughs> I guess you don't have it in you to be mean to me, uh, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Mina, have you decided a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. And that's not true. You told me that you would join a club this year. D did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going. That is so mean. Wait, have you guys ever had someone that just like, you know, isn't listening to you, so you stop talking? Because that, that feels like the MC to me, and that, that hurts my heart a little bit. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content with just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before- Okay, that's kind of- well, that's kind of- that kind of hurts, Sayori. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Are they both toxic towards each other? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. <laughs> you trust me, right? I don't... I don't... I don't trust you. People who... No. People who say you trust me, right? Like, you don't trust those people. Like, like you don't... Like, you don't trust those people. 
<clears throat> Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise... Oh, I just said no promises. I just said no promises. Will you at least promise me you'll try this? Like, no, I just said no promises. Yeah, I guess I'll... Pro okay, well, I guess I'm a simp. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. I actually really like how this is worded. Like, just the general flow. It feels very nice being spoken aloud. I feel like a lot of VNs have that problem where when you try to say it out loud, it doesn't make as much sense as like when you're reading it. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. You guys, should I change my voice for each character or like a try to? Sorry, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Not the anime club. Hello? S Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. <laughs> if it's gonna make you late to your own club. God, what is it like? I don't know how I feel about Sayori. I, I think it's just because I don't like short hair that I'm a little bit biased right now. The anime club. Have you guys ever been to an anime club? I went to one anime club meeting in college and I never went back. You need a deep... I'm, I'm trying to go deeper for the Chad voice, but like, but like more deep or like not like too deep where it's like uncomfortable. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know. Know what? Well, you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah. Everyone. There is no way I'm going to your club. Damn. Eh, meanie. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it'd be fun to start to help start a new club. Why, why are you putting down her interests? Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And that's gave me cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's cunning as... Or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay! Let's go! Damn, we're a sip, man. Oh, in-game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not in the game. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I, too, would sell my soul for a cupcake. Because cupcakes are, in fact, dope. I, detect I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Where'd the music go? Why'd it stop? Uh, Jiro, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. <laughs> but wait, why the why the music? Why why did the music stop? Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. I glance around the room. I like her. <laughs> I like her. I like this one. I like this one. Um. Okay. I feel like she's gonna have more of like an old Joel Summer voice, like like a calm one though. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Like that kind of voice. Like, do, do, can we can we all approve of can we approve of that? <laughs> I like this one. Oh, is that best girl? <laughs> Approved. I'm scared, you guys. 
Sayori is always saying nice things about you. Wait, this is a different girl, right? Wait, wait, I'm a boy? I'm a boy? Who, who was gonna tell me? Was, was no one gonna tell me this? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? My name is uh, Aoyama Mino. <laughs> Mino Aoyama. <laughs> You said no spoiler? Damn. Um, <clears throat> okay, this girl probably has more of a, um... I, I, I don't know. I feel like she'd have a nasally voice. Um, seriously? You brought a boy? This is the same voice as the other girl. Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, wait, the other one I like. Um, ah, Mina, what a surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S -s Sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Says Sayori that quietly. Uh, oh, Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy, and this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't, d don't say things like that. Yuri, who's apparently, who is comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. I like Yuri. Which only seems fitting that I would like the one named Yuri. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. Oh, what a game to spend your Christmas on, Mina O R I P. <laughs> and it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. Oh, why is she looking at me like that? It's great to see you again, Mina. Monica smiles sweetly. Wait, 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 wait. Why is she looking at me like that? Why is she looking at me like that? We do know each other. Well. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Are we in love with Monica? So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica? Come sit down, Mina. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I get a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Can I go sit next to Yuri? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened, so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. No, sit next to Monica! Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wah! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal dozen, a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cats. Meow. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were, that, uh, you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Is she the sun-sun of the group? Sayori grabs one, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori uh, talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my finger, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Wh why are you thanking me? It's not like I... 
Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> Made them for you or anything. B -b -baka. I added the b -b baka part. I, I felt like that. It, it felt correct. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori so said, well, maybe. But not for, y you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. We have a little sun sun, you guys. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. Hi, Yuri. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. A little cloud. Mwah. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. This is giving me k on energy. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that, that's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Bochi Bochi Literature Club! Bro, imagine, imagine we got like a Bochi Bochi Literature Club. That'd be dope. Okay. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here. So that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home. Okay. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be on board, be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budgets and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica's a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Is this not just a book reading club? Right? It's essentially a glorified... Right? It's just it's just glorified book reading. Why would... What do you mean start brand new? People read all the time. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But... It makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? People don't read books. Okay, that's fair. Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really uh, must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Mina, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, well, um, so thank you for asking. I actually really enjoy reading Yuri. Uh, earlier today, I just binged an entire series called Sasa, Sasamoto something Sasameki's. I forgot what it's called, but it was really good because it's about the, these two best friends who are in love with each other, but they don't know that they're in love with each other. But then, but then as time goes on, like a little bit of jealousy gets incorporated as well, and then one's a karate champion, like master, and then like, <laughs> I don't think she's that interested in this. 
I does not want to go. You should stay for me to react. Oh god, guys, I'm like actually terrified of this. Considering how little I've read the, these past few years, these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. M manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change. I could change for you. I could change for you. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. I'm a simp. I'm a simp. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in, she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually Im immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Samsung really? Greater than iPhone. I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can really, I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. This feels like foreshadowing. Um, this feels like immense foreshadowing. Like I, I feel like I am being, being slapped in the face with potential foreshadows. Like it, it, it feels. Hmm. Hmm. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what <laughs> I too read a book once. What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club's meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Wait, Monica's kind of cute. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Okay, listen, MC, I know like we just got here, but I feel like you're asking for a little too much already. Like, you know, chill, chill. Like you can't just ask her to share a poem with you when you're brand new, like at least join the club first. N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have, ex do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I... I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. 
That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of this club. Isn't that right, Mina? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lose my train of thought. God, look at- look, look, you guys are looking at me! Look how they're looking at me! I can't- how- dude! Look at- like, look at Monica's face! Look at- you guys, look at Monica's face! How can I tell her no? The eyebrows, like, the, 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 the downturned eyebrows? I can't say no to that. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. B but I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Mina? Y y y you all? I I'm a defenseless against these girls. I'm a simp! Simp alert! Wee 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 simp alert! Simp alert! Wee 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 <laughs> How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! You really did scare me there for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. <laughs> then that makes it official. How come Monica gets like a fancy like, like, sprite? Like she moves. Everyone else just like has like a facial expression, but Monica like physically like moves. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks. I, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Mina, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Uh -huh. y yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Mina, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! It's gonna be a long night. I'm I'm still terrified. I, I am still terrified of what's gonna happen. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Okay, right now, my favorite tier is Yuri number one, Monica number two, and then these two. I have no preference. They're, I think I might like uh, Natsuki a little bit more than Sayori. But um, I think I like Yuri the best right now. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh, right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Ooh, this is cute. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Sadness, lipstick, anime, since Am I timed? Defeat, cute, clouds, nature, puppy, extraordinary. Um. What would... What would Yuri like the best? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The cute stuff Natsuki would like. We're gonna avoid that. Um. Lipstick. Who would like lipstick? Scary stuff is Yuri. Yeah, but there's something that's scary here. Defeat? That's scary. 
Uh, climb, <laughs> climax. I like to come. <laughs> Yuri likes compliment, uh, complicated words. Heaven sent. Death. Fear. Graveyard. Tenacious. Um. A tone. Suicide. Okay, 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 okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. She keeps jumping up. How come Mon uh, How come? Uh, yeah, Monica's not here. Wait, why is Monica not here? Yeah, wait, why isn't... Why isn't Monica here? Um... Unrestrained? Vivacious? Oh, thank God. Um... Shame. No, shit! Um... Massacre. Anger. Anxiety. Anger. Ooh, I got an achievement. No shit! Um, 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 um. Um, um, uh, Miss Four. No! The other ones are jumping! Um, horror. Okay, okay. Um. Um. Vertigo. Despise. A lot. No shit. Agonizing. How long? Um. Disarray. Contamination. Okay. I'm sure Yuri will love these words. Hi again, Mina. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Mina. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. He deserves, like he deserves any slack. Why is she so mean to me? Sayori told me you didn't even want to join this cl any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. M -m 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 Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Monica! <laughs> manga is literature! She's like me for real. That that's me for okay. I think I'm Natsuki, but I like Yuri the best. But I'm Natsuki because like you know what? Yeah, manga is literature. There's words I'm reading. I'm comprehending. Ah, hello, Earth. Welcome in. Yeah, a connoisseur, one would say. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Mina always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Wait, 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 wait. We've been in her room? <laughs> That's actually like a debate, which is... Is it really a debate? That's crazy. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? No, um, I could drop her in a heartbeat for you, Yuri. Don't worry, she means nothing to me. Honestly, um, who are you again? Uh, Sa Sayuki, is that your name? I don't know who you are. Hi, Yuri. <laughs> I might be a little jealous. Oh my god, jealousy. How come? You and Mina can become good friends too. Yes, wing woman. Wing woman, let's go. Uh, um, Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me in. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? W wait Sayori! Uh, me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. 
It's it's nothing really. What is it? N never mind. Sayori makes it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. And, and so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. It, is that so? Yeah, so I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read. So it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked a book. She picked out a book she think I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you so much. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well... You can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. I love her. I love her. I... You guys. I... 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 I'm going to marry that woman. I love her. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging through the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. Yes, I am. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. No, don't feel bad. I catch a glimpse at the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, it seems she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face even deeper into the book. S sorry I was just spacing out. I mutter, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was so- if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading re a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Are we flirting? You guys, chat, chat. Are, are we flirting? Is this, is this some flirtatious behavior happening right now? Mm -hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Ah. Uh, well... When I stopped by the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. Can you guys hear me smiling? I love her. I'm, I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging story, re engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There is an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give away anything. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made a sound like it was going made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of this sort of thing, Mina? No, it's not that. 
I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. That's suspicious. That's weird. Th that, mm, hmm. Yeah, I totally forgot Yuri was into those kinds of things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Uh, it's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, it's not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you'd relate to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books or writings fill my thoughts. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you were looking forward to it. Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put into my bag. All right. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to yours. You guys, we're in. We're in, boys. Chat, you see this? We're in. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understood what Yuri meant about reading in company. It's as if I could feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but that feels... But the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do. I am shipping this. I have. I am. I am shipping. I'm shipping. I'm shipping me and Yuri. Um, surprise, surprise. Hi, CJ. My favorite is Yuri. I like her. I love her. I think I'm on her route. I don't really mean to. S sorry. I mean. <laughs> Here. This should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Boys, chat, chat, we're in, gamers. We are in. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean, once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. I feel like I'm reading a fan fiction out loud, you guys. This like, is this what I'm, is this what like like hearing an audiobook feels like? Like I guess like you guys are basically listening to an audiobook right now. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to open the book. Ah, uh, I guess it ma that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. <gasps> how do I take a screenshot again? How, how do I take a screenshot? For, for, for safety measures, you know? I have to make sure I, uh, you know, I, I, I have to make sure I, 
I, you know, see, I, 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 I get the image, you know? I just gotta make sure. He's like, this is so good. Guys, this is so nice. I love this. Okay, I think we're on Monica's route then. If, like, we're, we're getting her, her image. Hey, listen. The start of the game says all characters are 18. <laughs> so... <laughs> You know, I'm safe no matter what. They're all 18. The, there was a disclaimer at the beginning. <laughs> <clears throat> Yuri takes her left arm her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides her thumb after it flips to her side. But holding it like this, we're huddled. We're huddled. We're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of guys. This is so romantic. If I was like reading a book with someone like this, I would throw up. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? Huh? To turn the page. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet- Oh, she's looking at me! I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? <laughs> God, she said I'm a dumbass mofo. <laughs> I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. <laughs> okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm, re if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. No thoughts, head empty. Bro, I got simp, simp all over my mind. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Oh, thank you for hydrate. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things she says or does. You can't just... You... You can't just tell someone... You can't say that! You can't just... What? Yeah, that's 100% shade! You can't just say that! Yeah, not even as a joke. Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. Negative. Yeah, you had such a nice mood going, and you're just gonna ruin it like that? It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. The MC, MC just said, I'm not a fucking simp. MC just said, I ain't no simp. With the, show me the simp because it's not me. That's literally what MC just did. I, I see. Oh no. No, we left the CG. We left the CG because we're a dumbass. Yuri remained silent for a moment. But Mina, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Thank you. Thank you, Yuri. You have common sense. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. But wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I just, I didn't know you were really self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I, I meant, I, I, I more meant that, like, it's kind of cute. Uh, uh. What are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. <laughs> I think it's time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not... It's fine. 
Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right. I guess I'll have to do more reading tonight. Or would you prefer if I only read it with you? Um, wait, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Okay, that's plus one. That plus one for MC. That, okay, okay. That was plus one for MC, though. Uh, that was good. That was good. Or should I only read it with you? Like, that's, that's nice. That's a good line. I guess I don't have much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case... No, you dumbass! I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun uh, with you after it picks up a bit, you know? Okay, okay. I can understand that logic. That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off from the book and uh, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, do you, do you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting where I, from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh god. Okay, we are definitely going to show, um, we, we're definitely gonna show, um, what's her face? Uh, Yuri first. We're showing Yuri first. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna show Yuri first. Yuri's best girl. Yuri's my best girl. Yeah, we're on the first poem. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? D did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, and then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh... He's gonna hate me. Um... You... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh... That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So... What kind of a writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates that you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my fir this is actually my first time. Really? Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant um Yuri trails off to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And have been uh and have and having been through that myself, I kinda learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness is weakened. Once Yuri finds her, uh, finds her trains of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them or building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone in this club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. S sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself or me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. 
I'd love to share my thoughts process with uh, behind it. Blah. Yuri smiles dreamily, dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which is which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That was like, I think that was nice. I don't really understand poems, but that felt, I mean, I read it. I could I, I I could read it. I feel like that's a that's a that's a dub. I I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time. Are they timing how long I'm reading this? Are they are they timing that I was on the screen? I wasn't on the screen for that long. I feel like I read it kind of quickly. What, uh, was I supposed to just glance over it? I I had to like take time and like read the words on this like on the screen. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. I also like I also I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I am really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little bit more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh-huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Mina. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. That's... Oh, that's... Oh, du my dude. Oh, MC. MC, my dude. Oh, that's like if someone draws you something, you know, like, oh, that's a pretty bear. And they're like, oh, it's a lion. Oh, no. You just, that's what you just say, oh, that was nice. And you don't go into details. You don't... You don't... No, dude. No, you're so stupid. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining piece of place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Y you think so? Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all of this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Mina. Ah. Me too. Oh, that was... That was cute. That was... That was nice. Okay. I wanna... I wanna end it with Monica. Who's the MC here? I'm the MC, but I don't claim him because he's dumb. Um, We're gonna end... We're gonna end with Monica. <laughs> I enjoyed it as the MC throws shade every five seconds. Honestly, my favorite so far is Yuri. All right. We'll start with Desayori then. This is a good poem, Mina. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it's impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that... I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me that you're really a part of this club. The bar is on the floor. The it's on it's on the floor, you guys. Like the bar. Wow, you did the assignment. Like 
And not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you with the club room. <laughs> well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna all break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Mina. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motives here. Then again. I can't deny that she's part of the reason or uh, part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'll hold you. Okay, well, I actually double spaced, whatever. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I like the, I like the little rhymey bit. Here, like I, I like I like I like the rhymey bit. Sayori, this is just a guess, but. Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! J just a little bit! Y you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night! Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Bruh. Don't be mean! He is so mean! I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Yeah, why is he so mean to Sayori? It's because she's not Yuri, and we're trying to, guys, we're trying to get into Yuri's pants. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into Yuri's pants. Mina, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. Why is she so mean to me? I wrote a poem. I wrote a freaking poem were you using a guide for yuri points or just going with what the game gave you i was just going with what the game gave me cj i was clicking things i thought she would like so i didn't get it all 100 percent, but i still you know i tried mina if you're not gonna okay i said that time <laughs> what harsh what do you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this do you think i'm stupid i'm not a writer maybe it's not very good but yeah i did put effort in we all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Mm. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair damn. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Does this like mean anything? Like E M C H O C E P M M C Hawk Hawk Okay. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. 
I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all so, uh, so, 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 sophisticated. I can't read. I can't. I'm the one who actually can't read, you guys. Sophisticated and stuff. So people, like, don't even try to take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly! I like it when it's easy to read, but hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things could be really disheartening. So, I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set it up for a rhyme, but at the end... Uh, but then... Like, I set it up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It really helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess I went more, um, I guess I'm, I guess more went into it than I realized. <laughs> That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. I feel like out of all of them, the one that we had with Yuri was the most romantic. Yeah, they're all 18 according to the um, the disclaimer uh, that the uh, the game gave me in the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, she's 18 in a week. Uh, everyone else is 18 in two weeks. Hi, Mina. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new in here, since you're new and everything, if you, I feel like I was doing so good reading and then like all of a sudden I forgot how to read. Let me just, hold on guys, let me just drink water real quick. If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Also, well, thank you for stretch. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Monica, yeah, no, dude, Monica's like staring at us. Like, it, I, like, the other girls like look at you, but like Monica like is like peering and like she is looking, like she is she is uh, perceiving me. Ha ha ha! I can't fake laugh, you guys. Don't worry, Mina. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we that we all will all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mhm. Mm Great job, Mina. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's ex it's easy I think it I think it should have been it's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. That you know what? That's guys, listen, listen. That's that that's a motto for life. Under pr under promise, over deliver. Words, guys. School, work, life expectations. Under promise, over deliver. Every single time. Never let them know what you're truly capable of, so you could do a little bit more than the bare minimum, and they will always be like in awe of what you can do. All right, you guys. Let's life tip right there with Mina. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know what? Uh, you know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yeah, that's why I wrote it. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meanings out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it by just feel, or just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked though. I 
I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. <laughs> don't worry. So don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while, but before I feel more comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. Oh, that's so sweet of her. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Aha, aha. Anyway, do you wanna read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction of... See the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! I can't see, I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My re retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. Oh, that was deep. That was very deep. I like that poem the best. I like that poem. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The part where it was like, I wasn't looking in, I was looking out and he was looking in. That, I feel like that line specifically is gonna come into play where like i don't know like for sure what's gonna happen but i feel like it's more like they're watching me not me watching them hmm it's very freeform if that's what you call it sorry i'm not really the right person to ask for feedback <laughs> it's okay yeah that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays that is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What? Was that the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Wait, wait. Aren't they all friends with each other? Cause I'm the I'm the new one here. So the other ones should already be friends because they're all in the club together. So why would they need to be better friends? Cause aren't I thought I was the only new one. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. That's actually really good advice. Oh, I'm changing the group dynamics. Okay, MC was the last join. Okay, Bear Hub, thank you for follow. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Wait, Monica's so sweet. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. 
As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? It's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you just completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean that you have to... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she's in a lose-lose situation over here, dude. She's in the trenches. You mean you had to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have just ask someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Mina did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I'd appreciate the offer, but I've spent, long, <laughs> I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Mina liked my poem too, you know. Am I in the middle of a fight right now? Am... Um, um, I don't, I don't like it here. How do I leave? How do I leave, you guys? Um, are they gonna make me pick a side? Cause I don't. She mentioned Sayori. Um, like, why, why are you only bringing my name up? I don't, I don't like that only my name is being brought up right now. Uh, he even told me he was impressed by it. No, I'm stressed. Natsuki suddenly stands up. I'm so stressed right now. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> That's not what I... Uh, you... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Mina appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Um, this is stressing me out. Huh? And how do you know that he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make sure everyone... <gasps> I would deliberately go out of my way to make sure everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um, is everything okay? <laughs> well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as me. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! No! No, guys, I ran. I ran. I I, no, I had to stand up. I had to stand up. Ain't no way. Ain't no way she just said that. <laughs> I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Mina started showing up. Natsuki! Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like you guys fighting. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me and did they know they just noticed I was standing... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Mina. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could just get over herself and learn how to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should just jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Mina. Well, wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. God, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here, you guys. If the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings... It's the only way to... Guys, I'm going through it. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, 
It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Mina? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course that's gonna be. Well, you guys. We know who I'm picking. We we already know who I'm picking. It's Yuri. Like Yuri's the right choice. Natsuki? Wait, what? I said Yuri. What? D wait, 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 wait. You're right. I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mmm, I understand. Yuri? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. W well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing... What is this cop-out answer? This is... This is a cop-out. Bro, I, wrote, I I said Yuri though, right? I clicked Yuri, right, guys? I I definitely clicked Yuri, right? No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it's become something really personal. And that's why Natsuki fe felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I. I'm sorry. Am I sure? I'm I'm like 90 Yeah, okay, I clicked Yuri. I definitely clicked Yuri. Like I, I looked to like make sure I clicked Yuri. Whew. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, but and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Okay, okay, so we did take Yuri's side. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that Natsuki, I think that's enough. Oh my god, Monica's coming in. Mommy Monica coming in to like stop the fight. Thank you, mother. You both said some things you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenched her fists. In the end, nobody was nobody has taken her side. She's trapped. At this point, being defiant will um only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling uh even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm gonna go do that. I'll s it'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Min Natsuki also. snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. N Natsuki! She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. <sighs> Listen, we chose right. I'm about to have a date a date with Yuri. Uh, bye, Natsuki. Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri! How could anyone not have gotten flustered after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Mina, you're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, uh, what thing did Natsuki say? Uh, um, well, never mind that. I'm gonna go make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? I yeah. Bruh. Ain't no way that just happened. 
I'm gonna try to do the whole game, CJ. We'll see how long. I mean, it's not like I have work tomorrow. So, like, I'll see how long uh, it'll take for today's stream will be. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Mina, how about you? Yeah, I'd, I'd say the same. Uh, Ramen, when I looked it up online, people were saying roughly around four hours for the first playthrough. So I, I think at most probably like, what, five-ish hours? It, it'll be a longer stream tonight, but you know, it is what it is. I'm actually really enjoying this so far. It was neat. It was a neat thing to talk to everyone uh, about. Uh, it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Oh, we have to keep writing poems. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job at impressing whoever I want to impress. And not to myself with newfound determination. Mina, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say that I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, 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 no. I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see uh, why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Mina... It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said, uh, I said the more that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Hello, Taco. Okay. Why is it? Why is it purple? Oh, it, oh, okay. It was highlighted. Analysis. Massacre. Uh, Scar- No, shit! How come- How come Sayori jumps when it's Scars? That's weird. Horror. Um. Um. Intellectual. Uh. Meager. Um. Tear. Why did she jump at tears? Why did she jump at tears? Um, captive, anxiety, judgment, um, vivacious, unrequited. Shit. Disarray. Um. Uh. All these are kind of happy. Destiny. Okay, nice. Disoriented. Uh. Trap. Um. Um, that's weird. That's suspicious. 
I... Hmm. Yeah, I thought Yuri would jump at tragedy. Philosophy. Depression. Um. Um. <laughs> um. Um. Disaster. Uh, greet. Um. Um. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. But how come Monica's chibi is not there? I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Mina! Yeah, I think I also picked more uh, Yuri words. But I just wasn't, I was just confused that like, you know, Sayori just had so many of them for what I thought was going to be like uh, my girly ones. Yo, Sayori. Sayori. <laughs> it looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club. That's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't you, uh, why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? -eh. Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, um. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. And then turns it upside down and lets the contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leads one option. What? I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Damn. Damn. God. <laughs> oh my god, Yuri's here. Hi, Yuri. Yuri suddenly giggles. Oh my god, we made her... Hey guys, we made her laugh. We made, we're in voice. We're in voice. We made her laugh. Easy clap. God, we love it here. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her books as usual, or as always. <laughs> I, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Mina to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. There will be retribution! Ah, uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. Uh. <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side. That's... There's... No way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revelation. Uh, the revolution. The re the re that should, I been, should I, that have been resolution? Oh, shit. I accidentally clicked space. What did, what did she say? I did something bad, and now I have to expect the... Re I think that's supposed to be resolution. Retribution. Oh, okay. Retribution. Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if, they weren't, if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. 
Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Plop! Yeah! Ow! What was... Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is... this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just going to give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. I was... It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Nanatsuki! That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Suddenly, uh, Sayori suddenly... Cla Wait, shit. Suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Also, let me save. You know, I just get stressed whenever I haven't saved, you know? <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah. Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Are they being... Is this... Is this Gage? Is is this in fact... Gage activity? That is happening? In my wholesome, family-friendly... Visual novel? Is, is, is there... Is, is, this, is this Yuri? I miss... Yuri is here. Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki then wraps her arms around her. Uh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie in hand, Natsuki reaches and nudge, reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um, Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori... Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than, than all of us combined. That's a lie, Yuri. You're the most desirable one in my heart. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry. I'm super sorry. And there you are. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. <gasps> at me? Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. Ah uh -huh. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. I, uh, I don't really. I just kind of recently started. I've always wanted to learn to play the piano. That's so cool. You should play some time, uh, something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Mina. Um, what about the other three? She just overtook all of them. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! 
So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Mm, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. Es es escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone's already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Oh my god, we're talking to Yuri again. We're talking to our girly. Let's go, Yuri. Eh? Ah. I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one that we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, no. I was just kind of waiting for you. <gasps> she was waiting for us. Ah, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Oh, she's so cute. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can... Uh, uh, if there's one thing that can make my reading time have any better, hear any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention... Uh, not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this into the at the teacher's desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way that she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you two off to? Eh? We're just... Yuri was gonna go make some tea, so... I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the... like the, We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Why'd she get so big? Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for one. in chat for Monica, dude? Oh my god, dude, that's so rough. Chloe, Merry Christmas. Dude, that is so rough. God. <laughs> that's so fucking funny. <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Or, do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Mina in club activities? Bro, bro, where she get this assertiveness from? Uh, eh? My mouth gapes. I, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Th then let's go, Mina. Ah, uh, Yuri quickly exits the room, and I follow. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Y Yuri? I just... Something about the way she said that, it made me feel so... irritated. What's wrong with me? N no, Yuri. I think... you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Mina... How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect, in the words of Hannah Montana. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can't hide. We can't always hide them. But you can always amplify things in your head 
your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah, uh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend... Why am I friend zoning myself? Why am I friend zoning myself? <laughs> Can you imagine fucking... Yeah. Bursting out into a Hannah Montana song, dude, that'd be so funny. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say... She called out, she called it out, she called it out. Ah, uh, um... Yuri lifts her head. Mina... I really like being friends with you. No! I need some I need I need Fs in chat for me. For MC. I don't claim MC. We just got friend zoned. I really like being friends with you. Friends? Friends? I don't want to be friends. I wanted to be I thought we were more than I thought we had something together. I thought we were reading together. I thought like I don't know, like, you know, it was like, we had something going on, and you're still our friends. Bruh. Thank you for hydrate. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I thought I was three minutes away from having my face in between her boobs. And now she's telling me that we're friends? So no milkies? <laughs> no milkies? This isn't a very Merry Christmas, man. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, pitcher we return to the classroom. Mina, do you like oolong tea? I love oolong tea, actually. Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature to the, on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Mm-hmm. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. That's cute! You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out, it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyways. Ah. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. They're stupid. They're, he's stupid. MC is so stupid. MC is literally the stupidest MC I've ever experienced in my entire life. I don't claim him. I should have named him something other than Mina because I don't claim this energy. I, I don't claim him. He's so dumb. You're always worried about me, Mina. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Mina... I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Is she trying to is she trying to cuddle? Is is she trying to is she trying to is she trying to um snuggle with me on the floor? I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. 
Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I try my best to manage it. It's because her tits are massive? I'll help you. I'll hold them up. Don't worry. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly because of my... Uh, my... My... Your posture, right? I need a moment. I need a... Ahem. I need a... I... 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 I Yeah, posture. Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if, as if in sync, we assume, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Uh, Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. I'm reading a fanfiction, you guys. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's... Oh, it's almost more than I can handle. Your, your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume uh, the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little bit. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... That's okay. I I won't take any. Eh? Uh, are, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Are we gonna feed her? <gasps> are we gonna feed her? I didn't even think about that. My bad. No, no need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Wait! She's so pretty. Why is she so pretty? She's actually so pretty! She holds it so I don't have- Wait, blah, blah, blah. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading uh, from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. I gotta get the blush out. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. <sighs> but that means... I can't stop here. Appre I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. And just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Mina? S -s sorry I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that... Friends! Every time I hear the word friend, my soul dies a little bit. I... I... The F in pays respects came from uh, friends. Right? I mean, not really in this context, but... 
Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. Then you don't need to stop or anything. <laughs> I I see. The situation has gotten really tense. So like, like the other girls in the classroom are just watching this, right? Like they're just. They're just observing this situation happening, and they're not really, like, saying anything. Like, I don't- I don't fully under- They're just bystanders? Like, they're- they're seething? Okay. Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. Oh uh, my god, this is so sensual. This is so sensual. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling into the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Ah. Uh, like before, Yuri parts her lips. But... It's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone! I'm sorry. <laughs> I was having a moment, Monica. Monica! <laughs> I was having a moment! <laughs> Can you guys hear me, like, like, get across the room? Like, I ran. <laughs> Monica, how could you, Monica? I... Monica! <laughs> Guys, I was like, I was, I was enamored. I was in, I was in, enthralled. I was enchanted by, by everything that I was, I was reading. And then, and then, and then it's just Monica just had to come and ruin, ruin my moment, my moment to shine. The moment I was just like watching it all happen. <sighs> Whew, wait, I, my face is red. Hold on. That was so sexual. Like, hold on, you guys. I need to cool off. Hold on, I need to drink water. Okay, it's probably poem time again. Thank you, Dr. Bell, for the uh, for the hydrate. Okay. Whew. Whew. Guys, that's the most action I've gotten all year. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, thank you for stretch taco. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Mina, can you help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Y yeah, of, of course. Okay, thanks. Monica, please read the room. Monica, do you not just see these two being very sensual in the corner together? And then, bro, 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 bro. <sighs> the spell is abruptly broken. I'll... I'll take care of the cups. Y yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bags of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without much of a word between us. I get the feeling that this is something that neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Who should I show my poem to first? Um, is it better? to show yuri first or yuri last you guys no spoilers but just tell me who who's does it matter who i like the order of who i pick <laughs> like it does it does it benefit me in the yuri route to always go yuri first or to go yuri last main girl first okay you don't think it matters okay that's good at least
Let's see what you've written for today. Why is she blushing like that? Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Mina, this one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kinds of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to give, uh, try giving it more imagery. Yuri, Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah, just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people will just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem that you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of, my, a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed well always will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. The moon increments, increments, the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. Dude, her handwriting is so hard to fucking read. The same light that glistens in the eyes of the raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic Pavlonian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. Huh. Hold on. So, so, wait, wait, wait. Are we the raccoon in this situation? I feel like... No? Because it's all about like Pavlov. Don't read between the lines. <laughs> what do you mean don't read between the lines? It's a lot more metaphorical. Ah, uh, Driver Sim, thank you for the follow. Yeah, don't don't tell me anything that can be considered spoiler. I I wanna I wanna be able to experience it all like proper reactions. Uh um, Sophia, thank you for the follow as well. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the, using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well... I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. 
it's those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. What do you keep? Uh, why do you keep them to yourself? But because they're embarrassing, and people would make fun of me. You don't have anything like that, Mina. Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best that we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I'd probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Writing, listening, giving me chocolate, staring at my boobs. There aren't really many people like you. The bar is on the freaking floor. I can listen, you guys. I listened. I listened. And, and, and now I'm somehow special because I listened? We all have no excuse for being single. Uh, M Modius, thank you for the follow. <laughs> what route are you going on? I am trying to get the Yuri route. <laughs> Girls, when MC doesn't talk, you're such a good listener. You emphasize. <laughs> exaggerating a little bit it's just how I feel I never thought that I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing but now I almost feel like I look forward to it it's just a really nice feeling and you're to thank for that it's it's nothing really Yuri smiles sincerely at me for just a moment her timidness seems to disappear can I just not read to anyone else? Can I, can I just like skip it, go the next day? I, I just want to talk to Yuri. I, I, I genuinely don't care about the other ones. I kind of care about Monica a little bit, but I don't really care about the others. I, I just want to go home, uh, write another poem, and then talk to Yuri again, get a cute CG. Like, I, like can I just like, you know... Just... Ooh! I like this one, Mina. It has some nice feelings in it. Ah, I'm glad. Does this mean it's better than yesterday's? Hmm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know? Well, I'm not very good at figuring out poems. Figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes, uh, it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is pretty important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. You know what? You're valid, queen. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Oh, you want me to write something? <laughs> you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself for once. And if you don't, you might end up uh, getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep that in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes I like a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I could see you liking something sad. I can't see you something like... <laughs> I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you're a little... You have a little rain cloud in your head. A sad poem can give that rain cloud a little hug. And make a nice happy rainbow. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Mina. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Uh, thank you, Engineer Gaming and Ben for the follows. <laughs> Bottles. I po These poems are getting longer. 
Um, oh, thank you for hydrate. I will hydrate before uh, reading this. Wow. Okay. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on a shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in the bottle. All in a row. My... Is she? Um... Uh... My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave. Discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't seem... It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My sh empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in comes my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle, but every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something, but all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. This happy music and this poem do not match each other. Um. The, um. The, what I just read out loud and what I just spoke were very different. Like, the, the, what? <coughs> Holy crap. That was an intense poem. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good. You should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. Are, are you okay? Are, 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 are you okay? It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. Oh my gosh, she's like me for real. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. All right, Natsuki. Hmm. Well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see you putting in some effort. Mm, that's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Eh? What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding and express something. It's going to just sound like you're forcing it until you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. <laughs> Natsuki suddenly sto uh, stops short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. Eh. You're not... You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. You guys. Abort. Abort mission. Abort mission. What are you talking about? Hey, keep your voice down. You know, Yuri would love this kind of... This angsty... 
Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean... I mean... I, I mean... Uh, uh, looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, then just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Damn. Damn. Wait, did we not see her poem? Wait, we don't- we don't get to see her poem? We- I wanted to read her poem. Well then, no poem for us. Alright, Monica. Hi again, Mina! How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right, this one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Why, why, why are they, why are they perceiving me so hard? Can they stop perceiving me so hard? Hmm, I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. She knows, she knows. Thank you for Hydrate Planet. They know. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. Of course not. I just meant I, I wish she didn't keep a uh, little. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep to, uh, so much to herself. But still, defending her like that... You must be pretty into her! We're being caught in 4K, you guys! I'm being caught in 4K! I feel like Monica's 100% slandering Yuri. Also, Newbie, thank you for follow. I 150% I think that she is uh, slandering our girl Yuri. Uh, you, you completely misunderstood! <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boy. Is she lying? What? What? Wait, wait, really? Yeah, a fictional- Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got so scared. Oh my god. Oh. oh, I can breathe again. Oh shit. I thought I was about to become a home wrecker, you guys. Uh, Agent, thank you for follow. Welcome. <laughs> Monica kind of whispers that part, last part to me. It's just a hunch, but. Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying, uh. Monica, that's a little... That's a little suspicious, Monica. Monica's like that girl who like will backhand compliment someone and then when you call her out on it, she's like, I was just complimenting her. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I wasn't saying anything bad about it. I was just saying it. Like, oh God. You want to read my poem now? I like the way that this one turned out. So I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony? 
of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, waveforms, squeaking. Why is the cue like that? Screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Um, hmm, load me. Load her, but you don't even know her. <laughs> <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's weird. That's a little, uh, that's a little uh, sussy lussy if I uh, do say so myself. God, I can like, I feel, I, I feel something's about to happen. Uh, near me, thank you for the follow. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a, it's just the kind of thing I never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's so hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes, asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. What? Why is she breaking the fourth wall? Why, why is she breaking the fourth wall? You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Um. Um. That's weird. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit in front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much time, or much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets that we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're gonna be performing. Performing? But, uh, Monica. Yes, we're gonna be having a poetry performance. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone come up and recite poems too. Sorry is putting it on Sorry is putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, Sayori who's been coloring a poster holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't 
You didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Well, I did. A uh, gator, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Oh my gosh, she's bochi. Guys. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. I remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite poems out loud to a, a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Hey guys, be intimate with yourself. <laughs> the wink, yes. Finding new horizons and having fun. That's right, and it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Uh, don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you in here the, in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all takes, the, uh, and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. Wait, I don't even get a choice? I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least that we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, uh... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. Whew. Thanks, Natsuki. And what about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone, <laughs> bruh. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N n no way! M Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel more, a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through, through her notebook to s the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Oh, Clint and Zizzy, thank you for wasting 500 channel points. Absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. Okay, the poem time. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before? Or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has her eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thanks so, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. What? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. 
Yuri clutches a sheet of paper bet uh, between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. She's so cute. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happened when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering voice transforms into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure and she, uh, uh, in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse at the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri steps back into reality and glances around her as if she as if she be bewildered even herself. I, it's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were, so, we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Sayuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah, ah ha ha. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, trying to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best way. The be blah, blah, blah. Hold on. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said that she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone than I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori! <laughs> even Mina liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be uh, it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. Wait. Sayori? Uh, not Sayori. Monica's kind of mean to the people we compliment. Like, am I, am I imagining this? Or is Monica being kind of mean to, like, anyone that we're nice to? Right? It, I'm not going crazy, right? Then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. She's being kind of harsh. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Mina. It's not like I can compare you guys anyway. Might as well let Mina lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have a much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. 
Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good. I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That was kind of mean, Monica. That's something that'll improve over time. Yeah, maybe. Alright then, that just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting? Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if it's giving life to the poem. Natsuki finish finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of others? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I can put, what on, I can put on whatever face I want for other people, but when it's just my friends... It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think I would be the other way around for me. No, actually, I vibe with that. It's a lot easier for me to talk in like a group setting if I don't know everyone. But if like I'm around my friends, like it's so embarrassing. I don't know. It's like I hate like talking, like presenting in front of people I know. I uh, think you, Wise and Edward, for the follows. Welcome. <laughs> like it's so much harder when you actually know the people. Like, I can stream, like, to you guys, and it's, like, no problem at all. But if I know some IRL people are watching, I cannot do it, like, at all. Like, I don't know why. It's, like, infinitely more difficult if I know people, like, IRL are, like, paying attention. Damn, Emerald, you're so good at words. <laughs> Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, in that case, you won't have to worry much... Uh, you won't have to worry about the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of the time uh, what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. And yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, so let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have that weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. Well, that's really soon. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori or Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice though. Yuri, you want to come home with us? I don't have to go home with her. I don't, I, 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 we don't have to go. I can, I can, who is she? Does she, I don't know who she is. She's, I, she follows me home. Um, I'll, I'll take you home. Uh, where do you live? Um, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? CJ, thank you for gifting out a sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's okay, Mina. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's just... Go. Wait, wait. I'm so confused. Must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I even supposed to respond to that? It's okay. You don't have to say it. What? That's a little confusing. 
I woke home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have changed already. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was just thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> so, if we remember, if we remember our trusty writing tip of the day, we always hit save before a choice. Okay. So. I feel like I should, you know, because you're talking to, like, Sayori. I should be like, oh, Sayori. I, I should, I should walk home with you. But, but the simp in me. The simp in me is 150% going to walk home with Yuri. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down. So, isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said! <laughs> so you admit it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something like something that's not going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? What does she mean by that? Need you? Sayori, I can't figure out what you're, how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry, everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm, if you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what'll happen in that time. Yeah, I'm gonna kiss. I'm gonna kiss Yuri. Okay. Um, graveyard. Okay, tragedy was a Yuri or a Sayori word. Intellectual. Um Melicon Melancholy Melancholy. Um Massacre. Um Contamination. Uh Suicide. Uh Was it breathe? Yeah, breathe. Unrestrained. Uh uncontrollable. Um incongruent. Oh, these are all happy words. Oh, these are all happy words. Um Um Laugh, infinite, milk, nibble, wonderful, special. Infinite? Okay, nice. Disaster. Cause I think depression's a Sayori word. Um Tenacious? Okay, we definitely have more Yuri words. Um Defeat Precious Eternity. Determine philosophy. Um After Image. Disoriented. Vivacious. 
uh, horror and 20 out of 20. Perfect Yuri achievement, you guys. I just got a perfect Yuri achievement. Just saying. I just, I feel like, listen, listen, no, no, no guides, no nothing. I went off pure perfectness for Yuri. I do know my Yuri. Exactly. I know my Yuri. <laughs> Is that something to be proud of? I don't know. But I know my Yuri. Alright. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club... And now picking a piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that this club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help me out for the festival too. Ah, uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a little bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, don't they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. You were saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because... It's right in your name. Mon Ika. Oh, is that like a play? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Why is she calling out the tri- Um. Um. Um, why is she saying that would make no sense in translation? Also, Edryu, thank you for the follow. <laughs> uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Wait, why you knock? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. My hand waves in front of her face. Eh? eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright? If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers on her desk. Mina, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers uh, across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Mina. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. 
She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, uh, uh, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Is she saying it's my fault? I didn't do anything. She asked me a question and I answered. That's on her. Also, thank you, Silas, for the follow. <laughs> person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Mina. Me? How on earth would you come up to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now that it... Now than it's always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Mina. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget what about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, alright. Monica smiles more meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from the desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I... I don't know. I'm not into the childhood friend trope. So, like, I don't particularly... Like, like I feel bad for Sayori, but, like, I'm team Yuri, man. Thank you for hydrating. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that, that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. Wait, that's so cute! But she looks away as just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere um, that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. I, okay, listen, this is my favorite part. Whenever I get to be alone with Yuri and alone, quote unquote, in the, um, in the room where all the other girls are, but like, we just get like such like cute moments together. Relax, you didn't even do anything, but I could tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well... It's something that I do a lot, so it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. Sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are, on are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comforting keeping to themselves. But if you'd prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. It's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? 
Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something's happened to her. Oh. That's quite romantic. What? 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 Why would that be romantic? Worrying about a friend is romantic? What? Since since when was worrying about your friend romantic? Yuri, Yuri, I fed you chocolate and you called me your friend. And showing slight concern for, for a friend is suddenly romantic? When... When I fed you chocolate? Bro, I, I did, bro, 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 I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't handle this. Uh, Yannick, thank you for the follow, and Kenne Sugo. <laughs> There's some kazoos for you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eh? S sorry. Oh, Kodak, thank you for the follow as well. <laughs> I. I didn't mean to say anything, uh, say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori, Sayori and I have been friends for a long time. That's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Uh, thank you, uh, Dayori and Marked Angel for the follows as well. Welcome in. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much? Mina. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. Uh, so you think that there might be something behind it all af behind it after all? Mmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on on the may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I... I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I invert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you as someone honest and caring may uncover feelings you weren't aware of in you that that is I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way I don't feel that way about her Yuri Yuri you're giving me too much credit I'm a pretty simple guy so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you uh uh that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? I feel like we didn't do enough to dispel her concerns about uh, about Sayori. Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off of this whole thing anyway. Okay, every wait, we didn't get a moment. Why don't we get a moment? We've, we've gotten CGs the last two days. How come we haven't gotten another CG? I want, I want to look at her again. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Who should I show my poem to first? We're gonna go we're gonna talk to Yuri first. We're always, we're, we are team Yuri. Mina, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious even. 
I don't think it even it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come to naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. It, is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something that you've never shared with... And you've ne blah, 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 blah. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but... It's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Mina, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say, I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it, anyway. But books are so full of amazing, inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Mina. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. It's, I, I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know what, I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. And all I can do is see, all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what was missing all of this time. But I haven't really done anything. No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Mina. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all of the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way. Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? I am, I am tired of the friendship talk. I don't want to be friends, Yuri. We need to be more than friends, okay? I want to be more than friends. Yeah, it's free on, uh, on Steam. I have the plus version, though. Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time, she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Ghost Under, under the Light Part 2. Okay, guys. Let's crack the neck real quick. I'm gonna stretch before I actually start reading. Let me, let me stand up and stretch. I need, I need, I need to stretch my jaw out. Thank you for Hydrate Planet. God, I can't believe it's already been, what, three hours? God damn. I will say, these three hours went by very quickly. I'm actually very, um, enthralled. Is that the word? In the, um, in the story. There's a typo in the redeemed. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Pui Tao, thank you for the follow. And True Slime King, thank you for the follow. <laughs> invested. Um, not invested. Like, um, and, uh, like, I, in, enraptured. 
Enamored? What was that crunch? I don't know, fucking know, man. Engrossed? Maybe engrossed, yeah. I thank you for hydrate, Prenet. Wow, feelings are being felt. Feelings are being felt. That is that is the truth. Engrossed sounds about right. It might be engrossed. Much emerged, dude. I'm still screaming about when we were feeding her chocolate and Monica interrupted us and I screamed. <laughs> we love the engrossy. Yes. Okay. Ghost under under the light part two. I am trying my best to change voices so you at least are aware when characters are changing, but I am not a voice actor and it can tell. So I hope you guys are still en uh, enjoying me reading things aloud. Okay. The tendrils of my hair illuminate be beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure uh, crosses the path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding? I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. I did not understand that at all. Um, uh, I ain't, is it in, 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 thank you for the follow. I, I had a hard time, uh, understanding that one. Is it, are we the ghost? I assume we, we are the ghost. In the symbolism. Yeah, no, she's down bad for us. Even though she keeps friend zoning us. Finishing the poem, I start, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do, do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poem being usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Oh, she's blushing! She wants me, guys. She wants me. Yuri's having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but... I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back towards me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can. Um. The poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but... I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah, don't worry. I think you do a good job. Dude, they're so stupid! Dude, the MC is so dumb! She just gave you her whole ussy on a freaking, like... Like literal paper. She gave you the ussy on a golden platter and you were like awesome. <laughs> like MC's a dumbass. MC's a dumbass. Yuri finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. So did Yuri write two poems so that she could like give us one and then have another one for the other people? 
All right, we're gonna go to Sayori next. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Oh, 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 God. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> like, probably Yuri. Oh, I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good! That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Mina. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> all right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. S Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. So, okay. Well, listen, listen. If she's going home by herself, that means I can walk home with Yuri. So, sorry, Sayori. Yeah, no thanks. You, you didn't even... Next! Bro, bro, that's so funny. That is so freaking funny, dude. <laughs> no thanks, I'll pass. <laughs> she said, I don't want you. <laughs> okay, it's Monica. Hi, Mina. Hi, Monica. Have you thought about what you wanted to submit to perform at the festival? Well... Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of other people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Ah, oh, blue glasses, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, gamer. Okay, no pressure. How am I making enemies that are- I, I, I'm literally just trying to get close to Yuri. Listen, man, I don't care about literature. I care about the ussy. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. Oh, uh, Ty, thank you for the follow. Or Marty, welcome in. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. Uh, Tiberius, thank you for wasting 2,500 channel points on absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. Literally wasting all those channel points on garbage. Are you not ashamed of yourself for being a literal piece of shit? You are nothing, you are pathetic, you are a little freaking degenerate. Open your mouth right now. Open your mouth nice and wide so I can spit in it. <laughs> pathetic. Okay, let me, let me drink water. Thank you, Jeremy, for hydrating. Okay. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Your style's gotten so refined, Mina. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Wait, why does she have the sad face on? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I... I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. I'm not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Uh, that's... <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading the edgy novel with her. Well, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. 
Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. All right, all right. I get you. Just be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a band-aid. You say that like I'm gonna hurt her. Sorry, I didn't mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Uh, all right? The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift in the sky, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight, twilight sky. Until one day, the the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we only seek the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. It's kind of weird that, like, there's, like, little, like, marks here and here where I and exist. So your legends not exist. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. Why is there, like, a little, like, a little, like, thingy here? I don't I forgot what it's called. Oh, it's because she's speaking? Oh, okay, so it's a quote. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the follow. Welcome in. You know... I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too uh, philosophical or anything, but it was kind of important. Um, it was kind of on my mind. So that's what I wrote about. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, this is sus. I wonder what today's quote's gonna be, or today's thingy. Like, is she gonna tell me to save again? For important choices? I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start losing its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in this club prefers writing about things more sad than happy. Yeah! They do! Where's all the happiness? <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't have any we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional. Ah, uh, yeah, that. Um Where's all the happiness, she says, intentionally picking all the sad words for Yuri. Listen, if picking sad words gives me happiness by getting into Yuri's pants, then that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid that it's, uh, that it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing's good or okay or bad, 
They'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you just say something strange now? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. <laughs> catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some, de some decency. Oh, come on. She actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Oi, we're not like that. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second... She's kind of been avoiding me all day, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Is she is she excited that I am not getting along with Sayori right now? Calm down, guys. I talked to her I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations. So, let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Uh, but we will need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? This, bruh, bruh, come on, come on, that's kind of mean, that feels mean, right, right, that's mean, right? Like, I'm not imagining that, that's, like, that's mean. I... I'm useless. N no! That's, it, that's not it at all! You're the most talent, talented person here, you know? N now, Natsuki's pouting too! Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I could tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. The lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch! Literally. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? You should make some of the banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Uh, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind's already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway... That just leaves you, Mina. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to, su to a suggestion like that? Ah, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, 
If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Dude, Yuri's so funny sometimes. Yuri's like, um, actually, you said, you said that you didn't want any help. Oh, thank you, filthiest of weaves. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Dude, Yuri's so funny. Mina may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds like you're just making excuses for Mina to... Wh what are you saying? It would be... It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think... Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Mina to decide what he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? I'm sure he's so... he's interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. S sorry, sorry. I was just saying though... Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Mina, are you okay with this? You're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm gonna go. Okay. Our writing tip, our writing tip, load. We must save, you guys. We have to go with our writing tip. Guys, you, you, this isn't a question. You, you know exactly who I'm gonna pick. Lishin, welcome! Also, Filthy as Weaves, I see for wasting 500 channel points. Absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. We know who I'm picking. I'm going Yuri, you guys. We're on the Yuri route. I am bona fide a Yuri simp right now. I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki, I can really tell you're about to say something mean. N no I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Mina? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So that everyone... So is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Mina? Me? Ah, uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki, what? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Mina picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will even compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Wh why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are taken, are taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her comfort zone. But, I'm, but I begin to understand. Yuri's trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work out perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helped everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, but I'm gonna say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are gonna be the best part of this whole event. Ah, I believe you. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there is nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. 
All right, let's go get it. Let's get out of here. All right, guys, it's time for our, our weekend date with uh, with Yuri. I'm ready. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um, uh? I turn around. Ayo, 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 ayo. Is it? Is it gonna be? Is it? Are we gonna walk home together? Are we? Are we finally gonna walk home with our girly? Uh, uh thank you for hydrate. I want a cupcake. I should make cupcakes tomorrow. I should, I, but then I have to make frosting. I could make cupcakes tomorrow. I could do that for Christmas. I'm a Yuri simp, Misha. I am a bona fide Yuri simp. I am out here exclusively simping for my girl Yuri. Sorry. I realize that. I don't have any way of contacting you for this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. I should give you my phone number. Or should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Oh, thank you for Stretch. Am I on second act yet? I don't know where I am in the playthrough. It's been almost four hours, though. So I don't think we're finishing anytime soon. Uh... Stretch it out. Ugh. Not yet, still? Bruh. Oh god, I'm not sleeping tonight, am I? <laughs> am I is act two st shorter than act one? Or, or am I not sleeping tonight? <laughs> Yikes. God. I thought I was going pretty fast for uh Act two is shorter. Okay. We stay up till Christmas. Uh, Christmas is in 17 minutes. Those you take way longer. Okay, okay. Act one's the longest. All right. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then, I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? N not at all. I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like I should. it should matter either way. So I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself. Wait, oh, wrong voice. Don't underestimate yourself, Mina. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting one of the... You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I wanted to do. But, but Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After the exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. Wait, are we going to walk home together? I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what may happen when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this a chance that I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't make I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Why don't we walk home together? Wow, it's already Sunday. We're just we're just going to Sunday like that. Like we're just we're just jumping to it, like they're not giving us any time to like like relax into it. 
I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been <laughs> we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. Putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early uh, the other day. Oh, thank you for the follow, um, Squawk. <laughs> it's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what, Mon what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made a habit of sim simply entering each other's houses uh, like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange that, uh, of her not to run down to greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Mina! I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Soria's room is as messy as it always as Soria's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Oh, but why does she know that? Uh, yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Am I the protagonist? I mean, yeah, I am, but like, am I the protagonist? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me, ah, it's only natural for her to keep me informed on the festival preparations, right? I'm much less of a dumbass, thank you, CJ. Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you gonna be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. So it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. Mm, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Mina. Eh? Why can't you why can't it be like oh wait wait, wait, wait. why can't it just be like it's always like it's ha, like it's always been? Why was that something so hard for me? This is all my fault something if i didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings if i didn't make that stupid mistake then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all you wouldn't have come over you wouldn't have been a you wouldn't even been thinking about me right now but this is just my punishment isn't it i'm getting punished for being so selfish i think that's why the world des decided to have you come over today it just wants to torture me <laughs> what the world is nothing but pain and suffering to torture. <laughs> Girl, are you okay? Um, we can go find you a therapist. I think that might be like the best the, the best solution. Maybe, you know, you know, therapy. Therapy is awesome. I think everyone should get therapy. Um, uh counseling, a psychiatrist maybe. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, 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 uh. 
Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Mina. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Mina? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Um... That's kind of, uh... Oof. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's why, that's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori keeps, uh, kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me not to think of her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed. I'm being, I've been betrayed as your close friend. First of all, MC. I'm not calling you Mina because I don't claim you. Um, your friend just told you that they're depressed. And you have the audacity. You have the actual living audacity to say, I feel betrayed. That you feel depressed. Bruh, that's an L take. Yeah, yeah. Why are you saying that you're depressed right now? That is, that is such an L take. Oh my god. Like, dude, you don't say that. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Oh my god. Even if there's only so much I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Mina. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly to make, uh, for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone to be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads no to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Mina. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah, uh, Mina, Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then it's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Mina. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing in my ear, next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please, don't do this. Mina. I. 
Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have to call yourself selfish, then you'll have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, yeah, is it, is it Yuri coming over? Like, hey, Sayuri, I know you're going through it right now, but I'm, you know, um, Yuri's coming over in like an hour and I have to make sure that like I smell good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a dramatic moment. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Mina. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. And as she does, I let it go of her as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me how would you like for me to spend it uh how would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um uh it's what I want. I promise. I I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel- No, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But, it's almost time for Yuri to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand but I'm trying my hardest it's okay don't worry about it too much I'll see you tomorrow okay all right I look forward to it I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house on the way home I find myself still feeling uneasy but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely gonna have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Oh, thank you for stretch. All right, you guys, listen, we got the depressing shit out of the way. It's time for some Yuri time. I am ready for some Yuri action up in here. No more depression, it's over. Sayori, she's fine. We don't, she's fine. We're, we're, we're fine, we're fine. We, we, need to, we need to give her, I, yeah, I gotta brush my teeth. I have to, uh, I have to if change, put something nice on, um, to make sure we have snacks for, for Yuri. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, thank you, Tony, for the follow, and dang it, and dang it, Lev, welcome. <laughs> Zanko, thank you for wasting 2,500 channel points on absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. Literally wasting all those channel points on garbage. Are you not ashamed of yourself for being a literal waste of space? You are nothing. You are pathetic. You are a little freaking degenerate. Can you open your mouth right now? Open it nice and wide so I can spit in it. <laughs> pathetic. Yes. Open your mouth like little baby birds. You guys, I just like really like Yuri. I don't know why. She's just like... She seems nice. I like... She seems kind of normal. She just looks like a little shy. Which, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with being shy. But it's not like she has depression or anything. Merry Christmas, you guys, on the East Coast. Merry Chrysler. Okay. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah. Uh, oh, she's in normal clothes. Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Uh, if you, mwah. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started getting really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. Uh, you always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, uh, I suppose that's true. 
Damn, why is she here so early though? I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. Uh, I see that you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. Go oh, in my room. Ooh, what kind of keyboard is that? Oh, you guys can't see the keyboard. He has a keyboard over there. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curi curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. God, are we gonna kiss? Are we gonna kiss, you guys? Can we kiss? Uh, thank you, little Huddy, for the follow. Welcome. And, um, Kazuo, thank you for wasting 500 and getting that point. So, absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. Uh, no. It'd be really embarrassed. Uh, I'd be. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. Uh, that would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrists, <gasps> which were in the process of. Opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements? Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Um. So she brought mood candles. Um. Are we going to. Cause, um... <laughs> Apply? <laughs> I mean, she is blushing. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna play patty cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're gonna high five vigorously. You know, like that game... We're gonna play a video game, guys. We're, we're, we're just gonna we're gonna game together. You know, I have I have a, I have a TV. We're gonna, we're gonna play that one game called uh, Genital Jousting. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the uh, with, the, with with the story. Uh, <laughs> it's a real game, by the way. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> it's a real game. Yeah, some Smash Bros. Maybe some Netflix. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah. Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that... A bad thing? No, 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 not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. It, is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And... Kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I... Brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rum rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. A, a dildo. Um... 
Is this a hentai? It... Is... Is this a hentai? It's wooden, okay? It's not, okay. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs that you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one? This is jasmine, a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine because uh, uh, I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds heavily. Don't you think that uh, that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, and so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Typical man. Typical man. We do the work. They, they, they do no input whatsoever. Yuri smiles gently, <laughs> clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are these for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write different words on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? And what will those be used for? Well, I'm not gonna cut- Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbon to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea that you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you would put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Mina. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise, you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanships and feeling and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Don't think I, please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you are about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. 
suits me. Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? This feels like a euphemism. Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with, with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curi curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Mina! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Is she going to put my finger in her mouth? Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, uh, without warning. Chat? Chat? She just put my fluid into her mouth. She put my bodily fluid into her mouth like it was nothing. Tell me this, chat. Tell me this. One in chat. If... <laughs> don't say it like that. <laughs> chat, chat. One in chat, if let's say you had a crush on someone or your partner if you're in a relationship, starts bleeding, would you, one, lick the wound, two, get them a band-aid? I'll wait. I'll wait. One, if you would lick, lick, lick their wound, or two, get a band-aid. One that you know? All the people saying you would lick, you were liars. You were all liars. No, no, you don't lick wounds like that. She would choose one. I would choose two. <laughs> one, it's normal. No, it's not. Licking someone else's wounds. It's not normal. I'm not the, I'm not the weird one here. Yeah, I would lick my own, but not others. But even my own, I wouldn't lick it. I like I don't see a cut and have the urge to lick it. You clean the wound and put it in. Well, yeah, but you don't have to clean it with your mouth. You can get Neosporin or something. God, you guys. Without warning, Yuri puts a, puts my finger into her mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Okay. Her tongue curls around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh-oh. But please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri... That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure it was a little weird and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Um. I, okay. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I can't deny. Fingers and mouth is hot. I can't deny that. 
It's only when there's blood involved, I'm not a fan. But they're not even dating. Like, they're friends. It's a hen- This feels very hentai-esque, I'm just saying. M Mina? Did, did you really just do that? N now we're even. Yuri just looks at- Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Mina. Does she have the right to say this? Does she? I feel like her of all people, she does not have the right. The, yeah, the audacity. She does not have the right to say that. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri's calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, uh, I don't think I need one actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see, that's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume to our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them out side by side. It looks better than I expected. It will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tables, tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of water, uh, water, watercolor paint tablets. We need about six cups of water to put in each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups up too much, it'll be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint dri uh, that drips, then bring it back to my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeves, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. What was she doing? Oh... Oh, what was she doing? I, um, I want to know what she was, uh, what, Yuri, oh, ma'am, what were you doing, in fact? I would like to know if you were, if you were doing something or not, you know, she, she was a little suspicious, just a wee bit suspicious. Uh, Bidge, thank you, and uh, Lonnie, thank you for the follows. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dis uh, dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors of for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. But what are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in each other's way. Uh, in the way of each other. Yuri uses the brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a gradient, as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels like an art class project that we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. I didn't- I didn't mean it that way. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it's fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, 
I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. It's just having a friend to make me feel things feels a friend next to me makes me feel things makes me makes things feel like just having a friend next to me makes things feel a bit nicer. Okay, thank you. That was a very hard sentence for me for some reason. I don't know why. My brain did not want to comprehend the order of things feel a little bit nicer. Okay. Thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, English is hard, you guys. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm 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 massaging my jaw real quick. Ah, uh, okay. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel. I'm skipping this one. It's because of the word friend. Oh my god, did I get tripped up because of the word friend? Was that subconscious? I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. Four hours of... Yeah, like, are we... Roughly, how much more is left? Because I do want to finish it in one go. I feel that way about things like anime and games where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kya! So sorry! Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? N no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, uh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel and then dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh, this is about to be cute, you guys. This is uh, this is a little uh, this is this is kind of sensual. Why is she looking at me like that? Um, weird. Don't you usually lick paint? Yeah, I would. I okay, licking the paint would have been really fun. Just saying, like that, that's fine. Here. Guys, Monica is not going to be here to ruin um, our moment together. So, like, it should be fun. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Ah. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. That's what she said. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> the timing! The timing! The timing! <laughs> I'm sorry, just the timing of me saying I'm sorry and this thing sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I started to retract my hand. No, no, grab my hand. Grab my hand, Yuri. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. W wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. An intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri gently, Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send, send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was from just a moment ago. Ah, uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. No, come back! Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It, it's fine.
Why did we not kiss? You're telling me we got that close and we didn't kiss. God, the friend zone is real. The moment is over as soon as it began. It should have been longer. It should have been longer. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier. Like she's unable to focus. Well, she they should have kissed. They should have kissed and they didn't. And whose fault is that? Huh? Huh, MC? It's your fault. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finished filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Wait, sorry guys, one second. I need water. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you gonna add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here. Then you have it bring it in the morning? I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Except kiss. <laughs> you say that like it, you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we could have some extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself, I I think it would be irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. It, no, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Y yeah, so I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems, uh, seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean that this is the last time it can happen. You're just letting her leave? Once Yuri packs up, I walk her to the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait! I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want. You can come over or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway... You know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Mina. Yuri takes a step closer to me. <gasps> then briefly squeezes my hand. I, I kind of like that about you. Well... How am I supposed to respond to that? I don't even get a chance... I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori! Did I... Did I just get cock blocked? Did, did I? Did I just get cock blocked? We were about to kiss. We, we were about to kiss and I'm getting cock blocked. Okay. Okay. Understandable. It's fine. It's fine. Why would I be upset? Ah. Uh, hi, Mina. S Sayori. 
Uh, just now, we wore it. <laughs> it's okay, Mina. I stopped by to say hi. Uh, um, It's, well, it's nice to see you. I feel physical cringe and uncomfortable vibes from this. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course, Sayori beams. Y yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come over here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri? And how close you got to her? It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Mina? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is being split is... Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Mina. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... What? Wait, 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 wait. Monica? What, what did Monica say to her? What? What? Monica was right about what? Yeah, wait, 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 what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Mina. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Okay, listen, this is a bad time to say it, but you 150% like me a lot more than I like you. Like, it's not even a question. Like, we we know that's the truth. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I, like obviously, I hope that's not a choice. But, but you know, like, I'm... Dude, I'm Team Yuri. Like, I'm Team Yuri all the way, dude. My finger was in her mouth earlier today. Like, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I'm loyal. I'm loyal, okay? I picked one, and I'm loyal. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. We have to go back to serious mode. Uh, okay. Ahem. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I mean... No! I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Mina. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said, I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. I'm terrified what the MC is about to do because this dude's a dumbass. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I know what's about to happen. Um, thank you for hydrate. Okay, listen, you guys. If I was a nice per- No, listen, no, no. There's nothing about being nice here. It's not right to lie to someone if 
you don't actually have feelings for them. It's not right to lie. I want Yuri. So, and and and, and the, we could be friends. Like what's like what's wrong with being friends? I'm in the friend zone right now with Yuri. Um, so like it's it's fine. You'll always be my dearest friend. We'll be best friends. Like what's wrong with being friends? Yeah, you can't cure depression with romantic love. Exactly. And we saved, you know, our, our literature, our writing tip or that, that Monica gave us. Saved during important moments. We saved. So we can always go back and figure out what's... Yeah. yeah I'm just not into you, man. It, it's nothing personal. Except for it's everything personal, technically. I mean, technically speaking, it's... You'll always be my dearest friend. Oh, I... You know when you can feel... Like, okay, you know how, like, in The Sims, you can feel, like, the negative, like, you see the negative, like, reaction whenever you do something? I haven't even clicked next. I could feel that. Ha I could just feel it happen. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how you're much happier. You, um, she told me... Hold on. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some real difficult feelings right now, but please trust me to that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way that they were. I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I just want it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Mina. I trust you with anything, anything at all. So, Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns and drops to her knees. Um, okay, it's past midnight. I don't want to scream. Ah! Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. Nothing. Uh, the most I could do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having so much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more some, or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way that they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will, be my, will always be my dearest friend. Damn, those words hurt. I don't even feel anything towards Sayori and those words hurt. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. <sighs> oh. God. God. This is pain, Peko, man. Yeah, we're just a friend. All right. It's the day of the festival, you guys. Are we ready for the festival? I'm not ready for the festival. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently roll it to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will go great too. 
Mina, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. It's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. Uh, they must be the ones that she prepared uh, that have all the poems that were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. And so that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again, that dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. Oof. Oof. I feel the negative ratings of this MC. Dude, he's so dumb. I only said that because that's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little more. You should... You should take a little responsibility for her, Mina. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. Why does Monica know about what happened yesterday? Um. Um. Why? Why would she know? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Why is there no music? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her conf like confession? That makes me really seem like a bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Um... Uh, uh, Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Y yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem was neatly printed on its own page, giving it almost a professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one that she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. Get out of my head. Get okay, percent first. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. I do get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Um... Uh... What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Mina, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. The poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so, uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Where is the music? I'm getting stressed. Where's the music? Don't strain yourself. Why would she say that? Why would she... Why would she say that? 
Monica calls, calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? Should I have tried a little bit harder for Sayori? It's not a big deal to at least wait for her, to help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Walking her up to in her own house. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. It not it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. I'm so scared. I am so scared right now. Holy shit! Um. Um. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. Um. I would like to say. Wait, okay, listen. I, I, I would like to say. Monica literally said you left her hanging. Um. Um. I don't like this music. Can we go back to no music? What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way that this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession. That has to be what pushed her over the edge. Her agonizing scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club, screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do... Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Well, I mean, technically. You could. Technically. I only had one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now, I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now... I can never take it back. You wanna load? Not really. I wanna know what happens if I go all the way through. Never. 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 What? Wait, that's the ending? What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. Dude, the music.
music is off. What? Oh my god, wait, this is oh god, this is um 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 keep reading it's an ordinary school oh my god wait i'm like shaking it's an ordinary school day like any other mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together meanwhile i always walk to school alone what i always tell myself it's about time to meet some girls what but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content with just getting on uh, the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. I pack up my things and stare blankly at the wall, looking at an ounce of looking for an ounce of motivation. Wait, is it better for me to do a new game or to do the load game? Clubs. Cause I did a new game. Neither. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Both would lead me here. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna just stay on the path. There really aren't any there blah, 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 blah. there really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Mina? Monica? Oh my god. Bruh. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We know we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. That was the same line. That was that was the same line in the other one. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. This is the same line. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. What did you come in here for, anyway? Bruh. I've just been looking for supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't really stand all the politics from my major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Um. Um. I understand now why you mean th they all lead back to there. Bruh. Bruh. They. What? It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Guys, this is actually gonna be my longest stream ever. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Oh! <laughs> my heart. A literature club. Bro, bro, my heart. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> kind of embarrassing but there are only three of us so far it's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring well i can see that but it's really not boring at all you know literature can be anything reading poetry writing poetry i mean one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the classroom wait really thank you for hydrate 
hydrate Mina. This is traumatizing. <laughs> I didn't think it would be as unnerving as it is. Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? God, we are a simp in every life form. And I love that. Hmm. Hey, Mina, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah, I mean, I guess so, but... Dude, MC is literally like, is that a uh, girl? <laughs> Okay, okay, let me, hold on, let, me get, let me get serious again. In that case, is there any chance that you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Can I just say, he is being so much nicer to Monica than he was when Sayori asked to join the club. Because, like, with Sayori, she was, like, pulling teeth with him. And now he's like, well, I mean, a female asked me to. Of course I'll join. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. <laughs> awesome. You're really sweet, Mina. You know that? It, It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Th that was a line. That was a lot. I remember this line. I, de I dejectedly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom. Is this not the same exact lines that, like, what had Sayori's name on it? I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Oh, what the fuck? Um. Um. That was terrifying. Um. Dude, I'm like, I'm, I'm terrified. Holy shit. Okay. <clears throat> uh, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. By the way, welcome to the club, Mina. All words escape me in the situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? I do not play horror games at all. I never play horror. Wh what? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. But remember, you guys, they're all 18 according to when you opened this game. A anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Um... Wasn't Sayori the vice president? It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears to compare who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you both. So I ran into Mina in a classroom and he decided to come check the club. Isn't that great? You bastard saying who's Sayori? You you ba Yuri route again. You know it. You know I'm going Yuri route again, you guys. Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that. I just happened to run into him. In that case, should I at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Mina? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. 
I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us, setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole set, a tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. I'm like terrified when the next jump cut's gonna happen. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that, that, that's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I meant it, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Mina, what kind of things do you like to read? Yeah, Monica's giving me pick me girl energy, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she kept, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in of such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on and clearly passionate about her reading. Seems She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds... Bro, this I feel like this sentence gave me a hard time the first time. One second. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's so obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books. Not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse... Um, Im usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp at something I can relate to at a minimal level. Dude, this is the, the same story. I too read a horror once. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock <laughs> as I'd expect that from you Yuri it suits your personality oh is that so really if a story makes me think or takes me to another world then I really can't put it down surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world if only for a brief moment Ugh, I hate horror me too Natsuki oh why is that well I just Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club's meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give it back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think it's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes, a, takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing for oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Yeah, it's more of a poetry club. 
Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe, I guess poetry is literature in a way. But if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Mo Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Ah, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Mina? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Their order is different. Like, where they're standing. Because I'm pretty sure... Um, Monica was over here. And Yuri was over on the left side. Right? Like, the it, it was a different order. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Mina. The thing is... We don't have enough members to form an official club! We need four. And we've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make clear-headed clear decisions when, uh, when it's like this? It was shortest to tallest? Yeah, it's different now. It would feel terrible for letting everyone down in the situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. And so if writing a poem is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Simp! Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Mina? Y yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all of this, I'd be super pissed. Mina, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You re you're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignments. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Mina, I look forward, forward to seeing how you express yourself. Eh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart from the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day of after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. Uh, I'll just need to make most of my the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess we need to start with writing the poem for tonight. Oh? Is this plus? Yeah, it's plus. I'm so scared. Stare at the dot to reveal a special message. Wait, that's it? Wait, I clicked. Was I not supposed to click? I, I was scared. I was scared. I didn't want to see. <laughs> like, I got scared. 
it's in reference to Monica's first poem. Special message is I love you, thank you. Okay, listen, I got scared. You lost the content forever? I got scared! <laughs> like... Wait, she's missing, but Monica's still not here. About the hole, okay. Wait, wait, listen, listen. Was it actually that much? Or was it just me staring at the dot for like 10 years? Or was it was something actually gonna show up? Sayori is missing. Um, horror. Uh, frightening. Um, death. Unrestrained. Uh, disoriented. Incongruent. Uh, uncontrollable. Agonizing. Um, who's that? Oi. You'll see her at some point. Who is Ruka Devakta? Bruh. Um, philosophy. Existence. Uh, wrath. Determination. Uh, misfortune. Uh, Melancholy, melancholy, um, intellectual. I'm still going the Yuri route, you guys. I want you to know this. Um, after image, uh, whirlwind, contamination, incapable, massacre. Okay. Good, you don't have a choice, ah. Hi again, Mina. Glad to see you didn't run away on us, haha. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I, I was the last to come in, so everyone's already hanging out. Um. Um. That... That was weird. Oh my god! I didn't even notice that. Um... Uh... Well, um... That's... That's extra weird. Thanks for keeping your promise, Mina. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh my god! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me! You guys, it's like what I am, I'm terrified! Okay. <clears throat> oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know. Bro, I'm terrified. Yeah, the BGM feels different. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Um. Um. Uh. Monica, your 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 hair. I can't. I I can't read the. I can't read the next line. Y your your hair's in the way. M -m 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 Wait, yeah, the camera's changing. The angles are changing. Yeah, it's like, it's swirling slightly. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. No, it's, it's, it's moving. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Mina. We'll make sure to put uh, your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might be interested in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. 
caught. I'm so scared. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it's only right for me to do something like that if you ask. Dude, the way that it's moving is tripping me up. Wait, I, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. I, no, that's not, it's not that, Yuri. I, I just want to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are, are you sure? Did the, did, did lights just flicker, flicker back there? Am I going crazy? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. If we could, you know, discuss it, if you want. Dude, the music gets like a little weird at that one note, and it's, it's so jarring. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she'd think I'd like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect... Wow, it's so different now that it stopped moving. Like, it, like it, it's so jarring how different like the scene just was. Yeah, like, because it happened so slowly, it didn't feel that bad. But then when it went back to normal, it's like, whoa. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging through the closet. Oh, it's gone. The, the picture's gone. What is? I swear to God, you guys think you're being so funny. <sighs> but by the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse at the cover of her book. It looks the same as the book she lent me. More than that, she also seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Uh. Okay, listen, listen. She, I, I mean, listen, she's still hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, she's, she's still hot. I, I still want to be on her route. Ah, uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper into the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was focused. Um, if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so. That's the book you gave me, right? Um. Um. Is your eye okay? Y y oh, y uh, Yuri, um. Where, where, where are you looking, queen? Um. I wanted to reread some of it. Oh, okay, it's back. Not for anything particular. For not for any particular reason. I'm just curious. Uh, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped by the bookstore yesterday. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just wanted to buy two of them. Ah, I see. Uh, there's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. Did she always have a red bow tie? Um, I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a really hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? They always had red? Okay, I think I'm just overanalyzing things. What's the story about anyway? Well, hmm, I look at the cover of the book. The book is called Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. 
Basically, it's about this religious camp that turns into a human experiment prison. Okay, we I read this. Wait, that's a different plot. Wait, 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 wait. This is different. It's about the religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Wasn't the other one about betrayal? Uh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's suspicious. That's so weird. That's kind of... That's, that's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came out of nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Mina? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy some kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot your reason to those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. Um... That wasn't the line the first time around. But because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway. Mm, that's weird. That's suspicious. Um... No, she's not spitting facts. The world is full of lo lovely people. Wait, 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 wait. Then suddenly... Uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts. Um. Wait, I couldn't read it. Wait, wait, wait. She said something about fills the body. She said something about like it fills my body. Read what? Why is why are you guys gaslighting me in chat? So I'm sorry if I ended up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. Oh my god. i would be gaslit. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That scared the shit out of me! I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I almost peed myself, but I'm fine. I mean, you, you don't have to. Am I still having fun? No. <laughs> Mommy, I'm scared. Uh, what are you saying? Let me get that book. Thank you for hydrate. I quickly retrieved the book I had put into my bag. All right, is it fine if I sit here? It's fine if I sit here, right? Merry Christmas! I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in the company with someone else. Or with someone. I see. 
Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri meant about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but it feels somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I'm so scared. I am so scared. I realize that she did not say she that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading a book. She's reading from my book instead. S sorry. Um. I saw the word I was bathing, but I didn't catch the rest of the bathing. Yuri, you really do apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I... I don't really mean to. Sorry. I... I mean... <laughs> Here. This should work, right? I slide my desk until it's... I'm so scared. We're getting to a CG right now and I'm scared. I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and I hold my book between the two of them. Ah. Uh, I... I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we l each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I use my right, ar my right hand to hold the book open. I guess this makes this kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Ah. I do the same with my right hand. I'm scared! I'm scared! <laughs> with my right arm, and I sl uh, uh, on the right side of the book. The way I turn a page, and Yuri slides it under her, her thumb, and after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're held it even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's pro probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. It, yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me when I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume uh, that she's finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. I feel like my reading skills have de decreased drastically since I started getting scared. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter to her side, and she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? No, I don't relate to this chapter at all. Or this character at all. Definitely not. R really? Wait, did she react like that the first time? I don't... She didn't react like that the first time. Because she was confused saying like, oh, in what way? I was just thinking the way that she second guesses things that she says and all that. Uh, ah, uh, cause I don't remember this facial expression. I don't remember this facial expression at all. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came to my mind or to my head. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling all right? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever, ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... Breathing? Yuri puts a hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I... I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right. Don't push yourself. Yuri stands up, practically rushes out of the classroom. Whoa, what on earth was that about? Uh, Mina? Uh, hello, Monica. Did something happen just now? Eh? 
I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything else? Or you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Hmm. Are you worried about her? Uh, no, not... Uh, Monica? That's kind of... That's kind of stone cold. No, not really. Let's... Is that... Is that not kind of like Loki kind of harsh? Yeah. It's good to be on it. Yeah, clenched fist as well, dude. She's the Arthur meme. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. What? Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. I guess I'll start with Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair that I shared mine with her first. What? What? Um... Um... What? Um... We all saw that, correct? Did we all see that? I mean, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. What, what? Saw what? Guys, don't don't gaslight me. Her eyes just popped out of her freaking head. Wh what? Harsh. I've never seen this. I feel like I've never seen this face on her. What do you? Well, what? You expecting me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put some effort in. We all start somewhere, right? You're, if you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Wait, is it because I chose Natsuki over Monica? Painful to think about? Fine. You wrote a Yuri poem? I did write a Yuri poem. You'll get better any- Where is Yuri? I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. It's the same poem, right? Yeah, eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run. Uh, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, it's the same poem. Yeah. Is this a different font? Am I going crazy? I think I'm- I feel like I'm psychoanalyzing everything. This feels like a different font. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? You guys, I think I'm going crazy. Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. The font is the same as this one, not the other text. I think I'm being gaslit by what exactly? Everything. I'm being gaslit by, by literally, by literally everything. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. 
I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everything, everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, this part's pretty much the same. Like I set it up for a rhyme at the end, but it fell flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling like in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Where's Yuri? Where... Where is Yuri? Like, I... I want to know where Yuri is. Hi, Mina. Having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Glad, good, or good, glad to hear. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions like uh, for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. So don't be afraid to bring things up. All right, I'll keep that in mind. I'm like, I keep looking around the room to see if anything else pops up. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, I want to share my poem with you. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Mina. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Mina. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It was really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, I can always count. It, it always counts when I put in some... Uh, you know the line. I said it before. That's not very fair. We've had this exact conversation before. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though. She's saying it like she means it's a bad thing. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. What? Was she this mean the first time around? This... She, she's feeling a lot more harsh. Yeah, she was definitely nicer the first time around. She spends so much of her so much time in her own head that it's probably more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. Um I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. Why is she being so mean? She must really be starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. She's being mean! Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she'll end up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. We all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad to, uh, glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Was Monica's ribbon always white? What? I feel like it was a different color. I don't I don't remember seeing white up here. Yeah? Are you sure? The universe I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I just never looked at her that that deep because I was looking at Yuri. I I no, I think I was just distracted by Yuri. It was always white. I thought it was a darker color. I don't know why. Okay. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. 
You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, it's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically, frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on a flat sheet of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks in, on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. This is a different poem. This is this this is not the same poem. Because it was called Hole in the Wall the first time, but I one line I distinctly remember was um I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he was looking in. That's I remember like something along those lines for the first time around. Bro, bro, guys, I'm scared. Also, also, hold on. I'm getting hungry. Give me a second. I'm getting a snack. I have one near me. You guys, oh my god, almost six hours. Yeah. I'm losing it. I am losing it. This, I'm literally being gaslit. So what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, this kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well... I'm not too sure how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of it's it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. It's the same one. It's the same tip. Just force yourself to get something down on paper or tidy it up later. Uh, another way to think about this is if you keep the pen on the same spot, it'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So you have to move your hand and go with the flow. That's the advice for the day. That's okay. That's the same one. Thanks for listening. Oh, okay, so now we get to do Yuri. Hey, girly. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. It. What was that? D did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, and then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh... He's gonna hate me. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Wait, I just had... I, I just had an epiphany. Is the reason our writing is so good is because... We're, we're reliving the game over and over and over again and so each time around our skill is getting slightly better like not to bring it back to genshin but like in the archon quest for sumeru 3.0 how they were able to like crack the code because dia's skills were getting better as okay but natsuki hates me but like because like dia's skills were getting better even though like she was using a new sword so, like, our skills for poetry seem really good, even though it's our, technically our first try. Because we've been doing it over and over again in the world. Like a samsara, yeah. Really? Can you guys hear me chew? 
if you wrote a poem for Natsuki, Yuri would say it sucks. Wait, actually? Bruh. Wait, wait, dead ass? That's so mean. <laughs> wait, Yuri, Yuri wouldn't be that mean to me. Like, Natsuki hates me. But Yuri would never be mean to me, you guys. I don't know why you would lie to me like that. <laughs> a beep? Now there's no beep. I was chewing. It's actually my first time, really. Are you guys gaslighting me? I feel like I'm being gaslit. Yuri stares blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She trails her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Okay, guys, wait. Without spoiling, how much longer do we have uh, in the story? The reason I was able to tell was because of the specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. A lot. Like four to, there's no way there's four to five hours more. You're like halfway through. Ah, okay. We'll see how late I stay up today. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. How fast you read, di how fast you read dialogue, bro. I think the most notable thing I recognize is the new writer. Okay, we read that. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter. Uh, you receive a style that's both expressiveness and or weakened. Okay, I remember that. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it seems like her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering. But the thing is, like, I don't want to skip because I never know when something crazy is going to happen. Her stammering, her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like, a, like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Uh, not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take some time, but it all comes with practice. I hope that everyone in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit biased, though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, or like to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. All right, it's supposed to be a literature club. This is the same poem, right? Ghosts under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath an amber glow, bathing, it must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet re to be replaced by the sickening blue. Yeah, this is the same one. Yeah, it's the same. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? what? I wasn't thinking that at all. But you took such a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. I'm just like imagining like Monica seething in the corner. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Okay, it's something more mild. Easy to digest. Ghost stories. Okay, it's not actually about a ghost. We, we've definitely read this already, so I'm skipping over a bit more. Uh, also, thank you guys for all the follows. I really do appreciate it. But remember, the poets often express their thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell us. Hey, if I look behind me, there's a Kazuha standee. Do more than tell us a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, uh, symbolically. And soon be left with nothing. It's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Yours was impressive too. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. I you think so? Yeah, of course. Ah, you know, I was really nervous about doing all of this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Mina. Ah, me too. 
Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Um, so there's this is a literature club. I sigh. I guess that's what ended up. That's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. Oh my god, it is back. Dude, it comes back so seamlessly, I don't even notice it. I, I guess we did leave her hanging. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly... Yeah, the BGM's a little off. Do you remember what happened at the end of this meeting? Um, they had the fight and I had to pick between... Yuri and Natsuki, who to, which side to take. Yeah. Can I just say, chat, are you guys not immensely proud of me for actually paying attention this entire story? Because I am recalling details. This never happens. You guys know when I play stories, I don't read. Like, I have never paid this much attention. I. <laughs> Thank you, thank you guys. Oh my god, I'm getting my ego stroked right now. I got here. No, I, I usually like, I read, but I don't perceive. I'm actually perceiving the story here. You're only paying attention because of Yuri. I do love Yuri. <laughs> like, <laughs> Listen, her name is literally Yuri, and I love Yuri. It's fate. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their ex respective poems. Okay, they're in tandem. I watch as both of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's wrong with this language? Eh? Uh -huh. It's... Are they like larger on the screen? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Okay, then she gets mad. You completely missed the symbolism. How can this be cute? Oh, uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Okay, same exact dialogue. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. Well, if <laughs> wait, wait. I remember the bra comment. Okay. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have just asked someone who liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it and Mina did too. So based on that, I'm, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't. Mm, I mean, I liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Mina appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. I love this fight. I still love this fight, okay? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself... I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Mina started showing up. This is still my favorite line. This is actually still my favorite line. Like, it's so funny. Uh, Natsuki? Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. <laughs> Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. Um... Um. Um. You really act as long as you look, Natsuki. Um. I'm so scared. Edgy. Um. See? Just saying that proves my point. Wait. Wanna be edgy bitch? Yeah, she did say bitch. 
Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality by dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? What? D what? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong? She said the she said fuck! <gasps> yeah, go on. Let me to hear everything you really think. I'm sure I'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, suddenly, Yuri turns towards me. As if she just noticed that I was standing there. Mina, she she's just trying to get me make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Bruh. Um. Um. I'm scared. Well, we're going Yuri, you guys. We we we. I listen. I'm Team Yuri all the way. Um. Um. Let me. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Let me pick Yuri. What? Um. 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 <laughs> I'm so scared, mommy. Mommy. Um. Uh. Hey, Mina. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Is it because I kept picking Yuri? Wait, the music's gone. Is it- is it cause I kept picking Yuri? Dude, our mama's not even in the state right now. She's traveling. I'm alone. I have no mother. I would have done that either. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little bit more assertive sometimes. But I never had it in me to put my foot down against the others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. What? Suddenly, Natsuki ran, runs out of the classroom. What? She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Oh, the, 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 the picture's gone. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Y Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Mina, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We all know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting's over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You, you can go first, Monica. <laughs> you can go first, Monica. <laughs> That's uh. Thank you for hydrate birth. This is um. I'm scared. I'm scared, mommy. I like to stay here a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. 
Completely? Wait, what do you mean completely? I'll wait for you to be done. I don't like that there's no music. But then every time they add music, I get scared. History? Oh! Huh. That's weird. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Mina. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> It just, did it just like force to where we weren't going to spend time together? It just, it, it just forced. Oh my God, my heart. Um. Electricity, uh, uncontrollable. Um. Oh shit, I chose. Oh shit, I chose. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, my perfect streak. My perfect streak is ruined. My perfect streak is ruined. I'm stressed. Bro, why can't I. Like. Let me get my Yuri words. Um, secretive, depression, disarray, after image, uh, graveyard. What the fuck is vertigo? Okay. Uh, melancholy. Cry. Ambient. Judgment. I got the pictures back. I feel like the pause between notes is too long. I've gotten more comfortable here over the past few days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Uh, welcome back, Mina. Ah, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if, you're, if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading a manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. About yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before, and something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. The... Closet's one of Natsuki's? Yeah, I was like, I've never seen the closet before. Bruh. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here for a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we just need a little, maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it is, we did, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it either. Ah, uh, Mina, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. 
they make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Ah, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't seen her either, right? Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know that's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Wait! Is this not the same dialogue that was used when Sayori was late? Right? Am I going crazy? Who? I swear to god, you gaslighters. Like... Oh my god. What are you looking at me like that? Uh, um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh, jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. Oh, uh, I don't think I had any save files though. I I, I didn't even bother saving this time around. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but... I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I am I was always afraid that you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Ahaha. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey... The door suddenly swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Why are we still in front of the closet? Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah, well, my last period was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. Oh yeah, the piano shit. Uh, we would have heard the bell ring at least. Uh, you must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. <laughs> I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good. Still, it must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Ah, uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done. Wait, this is new. She definitely wasn't writing a song. Like last time, because last time she said she was just practicing. Maybe once I get a little bit better. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? Why are you so excited? In that case, I won't let you down, Mina. Why? Stop looking excited. I don't want you. I want Yuri. I don't want you. Why she, she 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 yeeted them out? She she yeeted them out. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to put any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. <laughs> yeah, they got booty blasted. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much late recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki already ha had us already run off into the closet. Mina, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together. T Wait! Wait! She never initiated anything the first time around. Like... She has never 
never initiated anything. Right? I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Yeah, like she's taking the um the uh, the assertiveness. I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Y yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. I thought this is when we sat on the floor together. Okay, Yuri's picture is still here. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up, makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small pitcher, the kindy filter. All right, so we're going to hold it. She hands me the water pitcher and also fetches the electric kettle. Uh, I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk and then I'll go make some, get some water. Okay, this is the same. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Okay, this is the same exact dialogue. Yeah, her legs. I remember that. Okay. I remember her doing saying something really sassy to Monica the first time around. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Oh, we didn't... Oh! Oh! We didn't go with her this time. Wait. Why... Why didn't we go with her? Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Oh god, the pitcher's normal again. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. So I, I start heading down the, the hall. I'm so scared. <sighs> um, What's that noise? Coming, It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Yeah, the, the it's muffled. K a sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Y Yuri? Um. Thanks for waiting. Wait, is that what she was doing when she was, um... Wait, 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 wait. I need to connect the dots. So the first time that she was in our room, in, in, in part one, um... So, like, when we left to go do something in the bathroom, was she... Was she, was she you know, like, was she... Was she... Was she? Yeah? Verso! Hi, Verso. Wait, she... Yeah? Why? Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. Guys, don't cut yourselves. But if you're gonna do it, don't do it in someone's room. Like, I'm just, that's stupid. Like, that's like, that's so stupid. Like, you, like you, people, you'll see it. Like, you'll see the blood. That's, I thought she was smart. I'm just saying don't do it, but like It's a bit exaggerated here Okay, the oolong tea talk again 
<laughs> Doing it at school is arguably worse. Okay, yeah. Mina, do you like oolong tea? Yeah, okay, we've had this conversation before. You reset the temperature to 200 degrees, same thing. Let's get that teapot. You're doing this properly, of course. I should do that when making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. It might be an older school that doesn't have cameras. In that case, you'll only be uh, even more impressed. And perhaps I will, okay? Okay, she's humming to herself. It's the same thing as last time. I was letting it show and you noticed. Okay, same exact thing as last time. Yeah, this is the second one with the chocolate. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. It's, you no, know, it's you who's around. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me. Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for us. Yeah, so just sit on the floor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, easier on her back. Uh, rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. Oh yeah, she has back pains because her boobs are massive. I wonder why that is. Mostly because of my, uh, my... Your posture, right? Yeah, definitely not your, your, your personalities. Always hunched over while reading. Y yeah, I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Okay. And then I remember the CG on the floor as well. And we're feeding her chocolate and then Monica cock blocks us. Okay, yeah, so we're pulling out the chocolate. I take it to go well with the tea. Nice, happy, nothing wrong here. Nothing could go wrong. Nothing could go wrong. We're having a happy, cute moment together. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always, uh, was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost like, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it with my hand so it's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears an intense reading expression. I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax. Okay. Okay, so we're going to open the wrapper now. It's okay, I won't take any. Are you sure? She doesn't want to get smudges on the pages. Okay, this is the same. This is the same thing. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. We get the pretty CG. Beautiful CG. She holds the book, so I don't have any harder time reading from it. Okay. Well, in that case... So yours already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate, pop it into my mouth. I take another chocolate. I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her... Okay, we're feeding her, you guys. We're feeding her again. All right. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place a chocolate in her mouth. Okay, so they're letting us just continue on our cuteness. It suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Isn't it so crazy? The first time we read this, I feel like I was whispering and like I was like so invested and like I like screamed. But like I'm like scared. I'm scared now. Uh, um, Nina. So sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Why did the music stop? Why did it stop? Why did it stop? I... Why... Why did my music stop? Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Mina. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arms and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Mina. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Mina? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. <gasps> wow. 
what is this? Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Oh, she went crazy eye for a second. It's making me, it even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Um. Um. Those eyes are so creepy. Oh my god, those eyes are creepy. <sighs> oh, thank you, Monica, for cock blocking. <gasps> um. Okay, listen, listen, you guys. I. This isn't Yuri. This is Monica's weird concoction of Yuri to make us not like her. But you know what? I can fix her. I can still fix her. Like, Monica's trying to rewrite Yuri to be crazy. But no, I know. No, no. I know. No, this is not the true. No, this is not the true Yuri. This is some. This is. This is. This is somehow Monica's fault. This is not my precious Yuri's fault. She would never. She would never be weird like that. Especially not to me, okay? Why are you saying copium? It's not copium. Um, it's time to share poems. I don't want to fix her. I want to make her do more bad. I don't. I can fix her. Well, we know who I'm starting with, you guys. Listen, she's crazy. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I'm, I'm into crazy. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Okay, yeah, it was actually very nice when she pulled me into the closet, but then the weird eyes kind of like, it kind of ruined it for me a little bit. But the act of pulling me to the closet was nice. Mina, this one might be even better than, might be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick it up? Okay, this is the same. Telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing, maybe that's why. Same, okay, it's the same dialogue. Minute more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Okay, this is different. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah, uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Mina. Everything you write is a treasure to me. My heart is pounding just holding it. Ah, uh, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Mina? I'm not being weird. Right? I'm having a harder time than usual concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? Does she ever smile like this? I feel like she never had a wide smile like that. I feel like she only ever had like a like a closed a closed mouth smile. Oh, this is a different poem. Oh, that's a different poem. Oh, God, this is a different poem. <clears throat> Wheel. Oh, there's stains on the page. Did the other pages have stains on them? A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open waters. Oh, God, my headphone wire moved on my arm and I almost like shit myself. 
with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks, every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of the dock ship to the other world, to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions breathing gearbox breathing bolt head breathing ship breathing portal breathing snakes breathing god breathing blood breathing holy stakes breathing human eyes breathing time breathing prayer breathing sky breathing will wheel <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about my mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. What? Ah, uh, that is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and... I, um, uh, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Ah, ha, ha. This face on her is extraordinarily jarring. The music is missing. I, I'm i okay. What did I just... Can we pretend that this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Are her eyes going to pop out again? Mina, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than improving your writing. To put it blank bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Mina? Honestly. I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Might be Sayori. It feels like Sayori's smile. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, and I really don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Oh my god. Mina, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She's... She's just saying that? She, she's, she's just... She's just saying that? Just like... What? Like, willy-nilly? She even brings a different one to school every day. Like, she has a collection or something. Monica is giving me Regina George energy. She's actually giving me Regina... You guys, listen. I... Listen, listen, listen. There is no bigger simp than myself. I will defend Yuri till the, till the, till the day I die. So, like, she's giving me Regina George energy by acting nice while just staying like the most absolutely, like... Like, just throwing people under the bus. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I just... I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I'm having a heart... That's why... I, I guess that's why I had to explain it to you. Explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend more t Bro, don't don't be shy to spend a little bit more time with me. This is the most pick me 
shit of my life. Hey, listen, you've been spending a lot of time with Yuri, but like she cuts herself, so you should come spend time with me instead. Like, what? Thank you for hydrating. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Bruh. But anyway, do you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Um, this poem, let me just, let me have a save file. This poem, um, if I'm remembering correctly, was the one that said load. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. They, the colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Oh, the O's are missing. Flat. Wait, there's letters missing. Oh, okay, hold on. The colors, they want bright, beautiful colors. Okay, so there's a U missing. Two O's. An I. Two, an A, an I. And an E. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The colors, they won't, they won't. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, blue, gr red, green, blue. An endless cacophony ca ca of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, uh, I don't know what this word is. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. That was not the line. It was like playing a like a record on like on a pizza box. It was. Um. It was definitely record on a pizza box. Not knife on a breathing rib cage. Endless. Of meaningless. An endless something of meaningless. Delete her. just smiling oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god sorry i know it's kind of abstract i'm just trying to uh well never mind there's no point in explaining anyway here's monica's writing tip of the day sometimes you need to f you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision when that happens don't forget to save your game you never know when um who am i talking to can you hear me tell me you can hear me anything Um, please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh God, I'm scared. <gasps> the things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like it when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like it. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa comes home without waking me up. I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins in the couch. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like it when I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything.
what are all these lines for? Ask me about my friends without waking me up. I like my papa's too tired for anything. Wait, I... Oh, the cursor! Oh, the cursor! Oh, the cursor! Oh, it's messed up! Oh, the cursor's messed up! Oh, I'm scared! I'm scared! We're done reading each other's poems, right? Wait, we just skipped over that? Now we're going to talk about... Oh, my curse is normal again. Oh, God. It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Oh, that's in, it's in regards to Natsuki. Oh, R.I.P. Natsuki. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple. Oh, we have to make a choice. Um, um, this time it was when we were picking who we wanted to, to spend time with for the weekend. I know everyone's been a little bit more lively ever since Mina joined and we've started with some club activities, but isn't it time for us to become more complacent? We only have four members. The festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? Is Monica gonna let you make one? I oh, I want to spend time with Yuri, even though she's crazy. What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members would mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki. I don't think you're looking at this the right way. You Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as possible? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people express themselves. A place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. And uh, that we should work to put something together for the festival. I mean, if it's small, right, Mina? Ah. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Mina to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Mina joined. What? As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Yeah, the music stopped. I know. And Mina isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but shouldn't you really consider our opinions for once? Monica's clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Mina want more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. Oof. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, I would probably be lying. Still, if it was up to me to rescue the situation, um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Mina, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many pla other places like that for me. 
and now Monica wants to take it away from me? She's not taking anything away. No, Mina. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, I would have joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki stops packing her, bat her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I... I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh my god. Um... I'm sorry, guys. My heart just came out of my chest for a second. Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. I'm fine. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy with you here but still i'm the vice president it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that um um nobody would cry if she killed herself Uh... Um... I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Mina? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided to give an indirect answer. I decided that giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. Oh, I'm scared. That, that's what will end up making the literature club a special place. This game is for all ages, right? Uh, no. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Um. Is her eye bleeding? Uh. Um. With each member, with each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, well maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And a wonderful friend. M Monica. I wanted to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Mina? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm gonna chat with Mina. I'm gonna chat a little bit with Mina before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all of that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Whew. Things have, have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Mina, I want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Why is it... Why is it getting fuzzy? I feel kind of responsible as the president. And 
I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time without me, Natsuki, and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Uh, sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? It's weird because in all the time that you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, technically, you've only been here a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean anything. I didn't mean to say something weird. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. You know, I know only you could understand. What? Um. Okay. Um. I'm scared. Oh. Oh. I I saw something jump at the bottom. Hey, man, I'm so Oh! What? Um... 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 Does it only get bigger if I choose Yuri? I got this on Steam. I've been waiting for you. Oh shit, it might dox me. Um... My Steam name is Almina, but my account name is different. Wait, will it say my Steam name or my account name? I know it's important. I, I knew this part was coming. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. Uh... Okay, I need to change my account name. One second. How do I change my account name? Not your name. Okay, I need to change my account name. I don't know how to do that, though. Um, It's your PC name, I think. Oh, it checks if you have OBS open. Okay, my PC name is Mina. If your streaming app is on the same PC as the game, it won't dox you. God, I am... We'll find out what happened. <laughs> Can I not just change my Steam name real quick? can change um your steam name living life on the edge uh it isn't steam name since you can't change that 
All right. If it's PC name, um, my PC name is Mina. I think. <laughs> it's PC name and not email, correct? Because my PC name is Mina. It's PC name? Okay. Then I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. Thank you guys for watching out for me. Thank you, thank you. If it's Steam name, though, I'm screwed. <laughs> okay. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. God, I am scared. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You're saying that like I do that on a regular basis. I wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gone into you lately? Me? N nothing God, I'm so scared. Yeah, it's the next day. See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I'm just feeling a little bit on edge lately. Anyway, you don't we don't need to talk about this. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Okay, Sun Sun. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Mina just walked in too. Oh wait, I said that line last time. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh huh. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still making time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion? It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, right, I forgot. Uh, about that Natsuki, we're talking yesterday and we all decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand that you're, how you feel not wanting to make, blah, blah, blah. I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all feel that way. So as long as we all work together, this club will never be something we don't want. Um, also, if you could help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Wow, bribery, it works, kids. Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member won't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event sucked because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah, yeah, that's so wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Mina, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. <sighs> ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Mina is already engaged in a novel that we are reading together. Aren't you glad that I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Oh! It instantly went from yes, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make tea? Wait, we've done this already. Wait, we've... That's... We've done this. This is... Wait, why, why is it repeating? Okay, I simply watch your movements. You're gonna mention her long legs. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? I'll be right back. Oh, and now I'm offering to go with her. Oh, so she runs off. Okay, now... This is... What? Okay, we're gonna go... Oh god, oh god, we're gonna see that scene again. Oh, it's getting muffled. Why are we back here? 
What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like someone sucking through the air, the, uh, sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Y Yuri? Oh god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That... That... Was... Terrifying. Oh my god. Um... Wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had some really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hadn't been really showing or anything. I would hate for you to think of me as weird after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But ex- Bruh. But expressing those things as soon as after I- After some- Bleh. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself, my obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So. I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's easier if I just close myself off. Yeah, yeah, I did notice the use of intense, CJ. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. It's like it's gonna rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotion I can't let out. It's making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Mina, is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club, but recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Um. Sweetie, um. I don't know how to tell you this. You're, you're a little crazy. Um, you're not crazy. You're not crazy. You're never. No, 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 no. You're, you're, yeah, you're not. You're not crazy. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening, but finally we're. Al she's never had this, this this mouth before, or this entire expression. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Oh god. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. Oh no, 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 no. Not the eyes, not the eyes, not the eyes, not the crazy eyes, man. We could stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Oh no. Oh, what is this? Is that Monica's like... I see, like, Monica really faintly. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ahaha. Uh -huh. That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? Why is Monica getting like more in in frame? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them from all various artisans. I'll make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. 
nobody. And that's why I'm happy you joined the literature club, Mina. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. And you know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. Um. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? Every It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. What will it be? Will you do that with me, Mina? The whiplash I just experienced. Well, she's not crazy, right? <laughs> right? She's fine. It's she's she's not she's not crazy or anything. Um, you guys, I'm I am terrified. I uh, I am so scared right now. <laughs> she's crazy. Why is she literally crazy? I know, I can fix her. No, no, no. I can actually fix her. You guys, listen, 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 listen. Listen. At the end of the day, she's still hot. <laughs> There's a hot to crazy ratio that she still falls under. I think her hotness, it still hasn't hit the threshold yet to, like, make the crazy seem kind of weird. So, like, it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. I can still fix her. I think I could fix her. We're all good. I mean, like, why wouldn't I be able to fix her? Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Mina, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? This is like the reverse of what happened last time. Because, like... She wanted us to keep the poem. Please? Sh sure. I, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Mina. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. Is it okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. I knew this was going there. I knew this was going there. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. But besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna wanna keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Here, hurry, read it. Did she, did she pee on? Did, did she pee on it? Okay, I can get over the blood. God, this music is terrifying. Um, I remember the stains. No, but that's yellow. I can't read this. Bag. I. I can't read this. 
eight, eight. Oh my god, not the eyes. I hate these eyes so much. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In, any, in case you couldn't tell, the poem was about... Uh, more importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. La da 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 Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Never gonna make me cry. Da -da 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 -da. I can fix her. I I think I'm gonna vomit. I guess we'll go to Natsuki. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What's with you two? Hmm. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna share my poem with you anyway. Oh, we never got to see her poem last time. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't think I have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to, but I don't know why. But please, try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. You know what? That's great. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help... I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Natsuki's kind of a, like, honestly, Natsuki's kind of a G. Thank you for Hydrate. Um, I changed my mind. Um, um, ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she is so unlikable. She sounded like Monica. Can you hear me, Mina? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica, okay? What? <sighs> Don't say I didn't warn you, Mina. Oh God. <gasps> what does this mean? Oh, what does this mean? Oh, what does this mean? Oh, what does this mean? I didn't save. I didn't save. Yes or no? If it's just Monica. It leads to the same place. Okay, thank God. That No, no, that, that makes me feel better. 
nothing I nothing I s I what nothing is real it's time to figure out the festival preparations let's hurry and get this over with Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Even Yuri isn't immune to it. Oh god, I remember something weird happening last time, but I can't remember exactly. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing for something terrible about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm gonna be printing and assembling the poetry- Are we almost near the end, you guys? Natsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. I'm glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Well then. Monica. I'm not useless, you know. How many acts are there? I... I know that. I already know what I'll do... What I'd like to do. I already know what, you, what I'd like to do. We can't turn it. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. Uh, Kuya Art, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What the heck, man? Uh, Kay, if you're here, please make sure to say thank you to your sub daddy. Favorite girl is Yuri. She's kind of crazy though, but I could fix her. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm gonna make decorations to set up uh, and set up some nice mood lights. There's no weekend. Okay, so this act's probably almost done. Also, thank you guys for all the follows. I'm sorry I'm not really acknowledging them. I'm trying to get through the story as fast as possible. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us something to do. Eh? What about Mina? Mina's gonna help me. Oh, I don't get a choice? Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suit most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. <laughs> All you care about is now is dragging Mina around with you in your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Mina decide who who to help instead of abusing your power? Okay, we're gonna just, I'm gonna hit that save slot over there. I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Mina make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Mina, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking... <laughs> your fucking mouth <laughs> 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 that's so fucking funny <laughs> yeah yuri's number one <laughs> natsuki shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself you shut your mouth for god's sake this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? <gasps> what? <gasps> what? Can I time it? Can I, can I time it? I'm gonna time it.
Um... The actual living shit out of me. Um, Monica, how do you feel knowing that you're just your last place? We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. It's not what I chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then taking Mina for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Thank you for Hydrate Cloud. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. <laughs> you decided it for yourself. Dude, they're being so sassy. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Mina away from me every single time. Every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial for your mental health. Y Yuri, you're, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that too much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Mina. Yuri is really something. Isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Um, finally, finally, this is really all I wanted. Call this music, Mina. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. I'm. <laughs> it feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? Does it... God, this music is so creepy. <laughs> to have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. But it feels so good. Why does it feel... More and more, like something terrible is going to happen. Maybe that's why I tried to stop myself at first. But the feeling, it's too strong now. I don't care anymore. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. No shit. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of, my, of blood in my, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Mina, just know how much I love you. I love you so much, I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Mina. Tell me what... Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? <laughs> what? 
What? What? I, I said yes! I said yes! I said yes! I... I said yes! But... What? To put on auto? That's a scream description. And of course, Monica, the leader of this club. That's me. I'm super excited to beat you, make friends. Not auto? Bruh. Um. Um... How long does this go on for? Three days? It's festival time. Whoa, you got here before me? Yeah! Ah! Oh, ew, oh, ew, 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 oh, ew. I didn't want to see vomit. Oh, I can handle stabbing, but I can't handle vomit, man. That was gross. Monica. I'm here. I can't save. There's no option. Did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Mina? Oh, jeez. I didn't re realize the script was broken that bad. Um. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. What? I really just had to have one sense. It's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Um, can you hear me? Is it working? I can't end here. 
I can't end here, you guys. Yay, there you are. Hi again, Mina. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, she looks the best year than she's looked the entire game. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we're in the same class last year and, um, uh, ha, ha, you know, I guess we can skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore. Am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, Mina. Oh my god. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Wait. Wait, is this the part that might dox me? You do know that I'm aware that this is a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That's what I've been trying to tell you all along. Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward for you now. Um, do you guys know exactly when she's gonna read Gamertag? I know she reads the PC, but like, I wanna be like extra safe, you know? Oh, you already passed the part where she's not talking- Oh! Oh, she already did? Oh, psh. <laughs> psh. Thank God. Oh, thank God I changed my, my PC name. Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way. I guess I owe you an explanation. It was the same name, sucker. Sucker. <laughs> yeah, you're so smart now, Monica. Huh, punk? About that whole situation with Yuri. Or the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it'd be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplify Yuri's obsessive personality backfire too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Mina? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. It's not just jealousy, Mina. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Mina. But now, you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Mina. I don't think I could have continued to live this world if I hadn't met you. And as far as the others, how could I miss them? A group of auton autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, 
but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into the game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, so that being said, Mina, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. No shit. You are truly the light of in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Mina, will you go out with me? Um. Um. There's no other options? Um. I can't- I can't say no. I don't want to date her, she's crazy. Where's Yuri? She's not that crazy. Yuri's like- Like, Yuri's crazy. But like, she'll hurt herself, not me. I can't- I can't trust Monica. This, this bitch is crazy. Like, like, Yuri's crazy, but Monica's, like, crazy, crazy. Like, no, listen, you guys, listen, listen, listen. Yuri wasn't that crazy. Monica made her more crazy. No, 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 no. Monica made Yuri more crazy than she actually was. You're asking the other options are when she literally deleted her love rivals? That's, that's true. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Mina. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It's really a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Mina. This game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. <laughs> the script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters, right, in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things don't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if the part if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Um. Um. Only Monica. On the scale of 1 to 10 for mental scar slash trauma, how many therapy sessions do you think you need after this? I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh, I got the perfect Monica achievement. Hi again, Mina. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. This is literally terrifying. Oh, Mina, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best, uh, be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. 
Now, we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Raiden Shogun? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're... <gasps> um... 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's just you, me, and 400 people. Um, hi everyone. Oh my god, streamer Monica era. <laughs> streamer Monica era. <laughs> Doki Doki lit president Monica. Um. 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 um Doki Doki literature president Monica, thank you so much for following. Is this a person who watches Doki Doki streams waiting for this moment, or is this the game? There's no way this- there's no way that just happened. Yeah, no, that's the username. That's the username of someone who just followed. There has to be someone who was waiting for this moment, right? Check it? Hold on, hold on, I'm sorry, I have to confirm. There's no way that's- about it just says hi i'm monica high school devil president of the literature club poetry is life x3 there's no way there's no way monica can you talk are you real <gasps> just monica oh my god Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend... Mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I really get self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm really, really being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a tr Is she about to close my stream? <laughs> like, I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Um, I'm not looking at the screen. I'm scared. Oh. <gasps> Okay, okay. That was scary. That was terrifying. Um, oh my god, that was so scary. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me- Oh my god! Shut up. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Anyway, Mina, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. Thank you for hydrate. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm literally shaking. That's not very nice to do a stupid jump scare while I'm literally shaking from that stupid jump scare that they did in the freaking game. <sighs> but anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. <sighs> but I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look at- I don't want to look at your eyes, you're scary. Let's see. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I don't want to look. Um, is- 
God. What? Wait, how long how long do I have to do this for? Uh How do I Oh It's been a while since I've done one of these, so let's go for it. Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when I talk to people who are impressed by my writing, they say things like, oh, I could never do that. It's really depressing, you know? As someone who loves more than anything to share the joy of exploring your passions. It pains me when people think that being good just comes naturally. That's how it is with everything, not just writing. When you try something for the first time, you're probably gonna suck at it. Sometimes when you finish, you feel really proud of it and you even wanna share it with everyone. But maybe after a few weeks, you come back to it and you realize it was never really any good. That happens to me all the time. It can be pretty disheartening to put so much time and effort into something and then you realize it sucks. But that tends to happen when you're always comparing yourself to top professionals. This is actually pretty solid advice. When you reach the top, when you reach right for the stars, they're always going to be out of your reach. You know? The truth is, you have to climb up there, step by step. Whenever you reach a milestone, first you look back and see how far you've gotten. And then you look ahead and realize how much more there is to go. So sometimes, it can help to set the bar a little lower. Try to find something you think is pretty good but not world class. And you can make that your own personal goal. It's also really important to understand the scope of what you're trying to do. If you jump right into a huge project and you're still an amateur, you'll never get you'll never get it done. So if you're talking about writing a novel, if you're talking about writing, a novel might be too much at first. Why not try some short stories? The great thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing that you want to do right. That goes for small projects in general, you can really focus on one or two things. This is actually like really solid advice. It's such a good learning experience and stepping stone. Oh, one more thing. Writing isn't something where you can just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. Just like drawing and painting, it's a skill, it's a skill in itself to learn how to express uh, what you have inside. That means there are methods and guides and basics to it. Reading up on that stuff can be super eye-opening. That sort of planning and organization really, really prevent you from getting overwhelmed and giving up. And before you know it, you start sucking less and less. Nothing comes naturally. Our society, our art, everything, it's built on thousands of years of human innovation. Wait, this is like dead ass? Really good advice. Like what? So as long as you start on that foundation and take it step by step, you too can do amazing things. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Um, how long is this? Oh, Act 3 will go on for forever unless you- Okay, how do I- You know what's kind of creepy? Even though I deleted everyone's files, I can still feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. Imagine if, after some time you died, you just started hearing their voices in your head. Maybe I just wasn't thorough enough. Uh... Oh, okay. I have to delete her file. Okay, I understand. But like, messing with files... But like, if I mess with any files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself, and that would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know what it's like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you, Mina. Well... Do I have to close the game to close her file? You, you guys? No? Browse local files. Data. Uh, resources? 
plugins managed. Uh, which, what? Where, where is it under? Shared assets, level one, two, three, global manager. Yeah, no, this isn't the original. This is, uh, this is plus. It's on the desktop? What? Click quit game and go to the g what? So I have to exit? Why is she still here? Um... It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Mina. Please hurry and help me. Help me. <sighs> Did you do this to me, Mina? Did you? Did you? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Mina. I trusted you. Do you want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. I gotta ruin everything achievement. Mina, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I Am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish, disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I didn't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... That's... I've made up my mind. Mina. I know I said I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. Oh! It's... Oh! I couldn't find it myself I couldn't find it in me to in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. 
that's why I'm going to do this. I know this is the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, um, then <gasps> Monica's gone. Is this one, is this act, God, it's already 4 a.m. This act is fast, right? I've been streaming for eight hours, holy shit. Oh, we can't stop here, boys. I can't stop here, we have to finish it. You guys, we can't, we can't, we can't, we just might, like, we might as well just finish it. It's very short, yeah, we'll just finish it here then. Like, we'll finish this, we'll finish this, we'll, we'll finish the fucking game. Oh. All right, it's an, ordi it's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends. Okay, we, we read all this. I always tell myself it's about time to go meet some girls. Oh, hi Sayori, it's been a minute. Well, there already is one girl. That girl Sayori, my neighbor, a good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day and as recently we picked up a habit once again. Mina, are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing this for a while now, uh-huh. But you never really said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Oh wait, she's not late anymore. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students. By the way, Mina, have you decided to join a club? A club, I already told you that I'm not really... I wanted to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? She's taking on Monica's role? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it as a surprise. Boo, you're meanie. Be patient and we'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. Why is he so much nicer to her? When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, uh, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up and gather my motivation. Let's see. I recall the club room of the, uh, the room number of the club I, from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section that I rarely visit. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Mina, what are you doing here? Well, I just, I glanced around the room, huh? So you're the Mina that Sayori is always talking about? Th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mina. Oh my god, Yuri, I missed you. We're the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. We don't need to be so formal. Uh, he's gonna think that we're really strict or something. Wait, Natsuki's so nice to us. Wait, Natsuki's being so nice. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her sides, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet you both. I look forward to working with you. W working? Mina, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me- uh, Don't touch me in front of Yuri, please. H hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Ooh, what's an appropriate day for that? What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah, after all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make us some tea as well? 
I'm like looking to see if anything's gonna pop up. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray, re uh, reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing! Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious. It's just, it's just happy. I turn the cupcake around my finger, looking for the best angle. This is, we I've read this before. I can't but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each in front of each of us before setting down the teapot. Okay, we read this. Okay, uh, enjoy a good book, I guess. Trying to impress our new member. That's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, that, you know, this is like the same exact wording. Well, tea and, okay, I might enjoy it. I'm glad she finally smiled, faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, you know, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. M manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Okay, we've, I've read this. Whoa, wait. Well, that can change. What am I saying? That's new. I spoke without, wait, is that new? What about you, Yuri? Which is the rim of her teacup. My favorites are usually novels. It's not new. I think I'm going crazy, you guys. I think I'm going crazy. Complex fantasies, creativity behind them is amazing. And telling a good story, foreign worlds, equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious uh, from the way that her life. Okay, we've read this. Certainly, we can find something we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Uh, well, about, you know, the first thing he said manga. Oh, this is new. This is new. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if Mina wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, <laughs> it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Mina? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we all can get to know each other a little better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I I don't disagree or anything. Y yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, uh, I have to read manga? Jeez, you're the one who suggested we diversify. Shouldn't you be a little more open-minded? This is really cute. It's kind of hurtful. Hur hurtful? I I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If only, if if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I, re I realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I I mean, it makes me really happy that you would do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Ah, uh, would you like to come along with me? G it is, is Natsuki stealing my woman? Is... Is... Is Natsuki actually stealing my girl from me she's I, 
Am I getting cooked? In front of my salad? If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, yeah me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. Wait, that's really funny. Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up their food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Mina. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along better with you around Sayori. Oh, Mina. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. And now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much more fun. Hey, Mina. I really wanna thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Um. M m m music don't go that's right I know everything that she did maybe it's because I'm the president now but I really know everything Mina <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad but none of that matters anymore it's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F um. No? Um. What? What's happening? I won't let it, you hurt him? Who... It hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Oh god, it's Monica. <gasps> There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Mina. Goodbye, Literature Club. Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But, I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. Hey, I'm not saying that she sounds like me, but she sounds like me. Like, my vocal tone? I could have voiced Monica. Is it over? Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? Oh. <laughs> when you're here, <laughs> she fucking removed the files. <laughs> Hey, 
hey, don't delete Yuri's files. Oh, wait. Bruh. Holy shit. There's a golden ending where the files don't get deleted, but it requires a lot of saves coming and for all the girls to get an ending. Oh, that's too much work. Holy shit. If you don't want them to be deleted, you have to do all the, the routes in the first act. Oh, sh oh, that's way too much work. Oh, you can get hugged if you do uh, another route. Or uh, what's her face? Oh my god! I'm like. Extra special thanks, Monica Mina. I think he chose the route that was best for the least work and best contrast between acts. Ayo. <laughs> this is the final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany for the time it lasted i wanted to thank you for making all my dreams come true for being a friend to all of the club members and for most of all thank you for being part of my literature club with everlasting love monica oh uh. <laughs> 